Hello, hello! Welcome to the land of Prova. This is a Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition home brewed adventure, and uh, it looked as though our players in the last episode uh, barely survived, uh, barely all survived an encounter with a uh, what was it? An illithid dragon, dragon, mind flayer dragon, mind flayer dragon, back to back. Yeah, and then an elder dragon. And then an elder brain. So they had quite the uh, the job ahead of them. Uh, they did manage to defeat this uh, formidable foe. And uh, as soon as the whole uh, warriors and everything else were done, the uh, party decided to jump back into their portals, take off, and go right back to Elderhold, uh, where Pavel has been uh, leading as an elder um, in Elderhold. Well, actually, not Elderhold. In the what did we what did we named it? That's right. What did we guys, what did you guys name the the refugee camp slash Oh, the hammers something. Hammer fell. The hammer fell. Hammers, hammers peak. Hammers peak. Hammers, hammers, peak. Peak. hammers peak. peak. They were returned to Hammers Peak. Hammers Peak Fortress. Hammer. Ooh, I like that. Hammers Peak Fortress, uh, where the rebellion is uh, hiding out and trying to find ways of uh, gaining some foothold back into Elderholt, their promised land. Uh, and so, yes, you walk through the portal. Um, as soon as you do, you end up in, in the same cells that uh, you're used to whenever you do kind of portal travel. And as soon as you walk through, uh, the attendant who's there watching sees you and says, Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I'll open up the, the doors immediately. And he opens up the cages and allows you guys to come through, uh, knowing exactly who you guys are at this point. Um, as you're kind of stumbling through the, the portal, <coughs> the kind of grime, blood, and whatever uh, Elder Blaine's leave behind, uh, he says, uh, Did uh, the fight go well? There were many, were many lost. Uh, just kind of like stand there, kind of like dripping. <laughs> yeah, gore, <laughs> like, brain like, matter. Guts, like my, my armor's all damaged. And like bl my blood all over, <laughs> like dripping. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. We tried to keep losses to a uh, minimum, but I told you I'd bring him back alive, and I like slap Pavel on the chest. Like, see, here he is. Uh, as In you one uh, I like. <clears throat> oh. As you oh, slap him, he, he we'll grunts, be. and the part of his armor kind of falls off and lands to the ground. Uh, oh. Ooh. It's okay, I'll, I'll fix it. <laughs> Pick that up. Oh. It's like, um, well, let, let my priest uh, take care of this. It, it needs Lathander's touch. Uh, yes, yes, please, please come in. Um, the, the, uh, the other elders are, have been waiting for you uh, to report back. Um, so yes, yes, please come in, come rest, oh, come yeah. shower. And he kind of just helps you guys out and starts to move things around. Um, and uh, Lyria was not part of that group that came down here to begin with, right? It was just you and... It was she stayed behind with, with her other friends. It was just me and Lyria that came to pick you up. Oh, yeah, initially. Yes, and where's where's the uh, the thiefling who was with you? She's, she's uh, My not... sister is still back in... Oh, where did we come from? Oh, um... I, I want to say Dawnberry, but I know no, that's wrong. No, Castle... Core? Mm -hmm. That's an excellent Cray. 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 She is still back in Cray, helping with repairs oh, and rescue. Oh, good. That's wonderful. I'm so glad to hear that she's all right. Uh, but please, come. Come follow me and uh, and get some rest. Um, we'll, re we'll give you the reports. Uh, and as they're walking off, he actually looks at you and says, Unfortunately, sir, we, uh, we haven't made it much headroom since you've been gone. We're still basically where you are when you left. You um, guys... Eat, rest, do as you do. I'm gonna go speak with Atlas right away. Ah, uh, yes, yes, please. Isn't please Atlas, your Griffin? No, Lady Atlas. Lady Atlas. Oh, there's two. Atlas Iron of... Atlas is uh, the <laughs> name that people give her. Um, so yeah, as you guys take off and relax and rest, and uh, you know, get oh, get some foods. Dead. The foods that they give you are not very great. I mean, they're more like rations than anything else. Um, but it looks like everybody's getting that kind of food and things. Um, is, there any, so, is there any alcohol for him? Uh, there's a little bit. But I reach into my bag and pull out <laughs> a bottle, uh, like a really nice bottle of wine that I stole from the one of the various bars we go to. Uh, are you using the one, the, the bag of holding that has the secret whatever inside of it? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the only one he has. Yeah, it's the only one I have, so yeah. Oh. I've recently stole wine. It's been abandoned, right? Recently, as in before the Scarred Lands? After the Scarred Lands. After the Scarred Lands? Okay, yes. 
Oh, uh, uh, when, Nemo gave it to you. Yes, I okay. got all those bottles of wine from Nemo. Okay, yeah. So you go, you reach in there and you grab it and turn up. There's that same wine. Okay. Why did we teleport here and not my mom's house? I I, <laughs> I, I, I finish a bottle. This food is terrible. I press to digitation it to make it taste better. I've been doing I know that. it's not my. I know it's that. not it's my. It's all I've got. I texted something to you about like a mechanic. Okay. But I just, I just, just, just a side. It's so dry. Okay. Are we helping these people? I pull out a second bottle of wine and I give it to you. Right. So you guys are just enjoying wine, <laughs> whispering, <having> fucking catty <laughs> bitches over there. Uh, as you guys are doing this and kind of like walking through to rebellion. your, uh, you're walking through to your little area to rest. You're looking and seeing some of the soldiers all kind of like, you know. Uh, battle worn. Battle worn and tired and Injured. incognito, and they're looking at you like. Yeah. You get that one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I think maybe maybe they brought it. I guess so. And they're just how many like salivating. You're walking through like a, a hallway, and it's lined with people. Like they're all laying down. Some of them are sleeping. Some of them nursing injuries. I'll just start. Like where'd you toss your empty you animal <laughs> bottles? Uh, it's really quiet. Like they take the bottle with like almost reverence, and then just. So much. We needed it something. is very high proof wine. Drink it slowly. Absolutely, sir. And so you can see they're just parsing out little bits, almost like uh, like capsules of wine, so that everybody can have a little bit. And and you see them almost like just sipping slowly and greedily at this little bit that they've been given. You see that like you have made a big difference in their in their worlds, and they, and they kind of like. Yes. Uh, what, what is, what's his name? What's 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 your name, good sir? Mordai Melchizedek, son of Stygia. Master Mordai, Master Mordai. Thank you, Master Mordai, the giver of wine. I bring the party. I bring the party. So <laughs> I, I press the digitation sparks in the air as I say that. <laughs> in my mind, Pavel went to Alice and gave like a 12 word report and then just like is walking back in, like kind of like sees all the wine and everything. Wine. Yeah. Um, I think everyone would like the paladin walks in the room. They'd all like kind of seize up. You know, they're all they're all drinking wine and stuff. And then I would just be like, like wouldn't wouldn't comment or anything. Just... I hand you the bottle I've been drinking out of. Take like a small sip and hand it back to you. Um, it's more than I've gotten out of in years. As you as you came in, you gave your report and things, and you were leaving. Um, you get the sense that, um, uh, shoot, um, Paracelsus, he wanted to come and say something to you, um, and Lady Atlas is the one who stopped him. So no, no, he needs some rest. He's earned that. He took on quite a big ordeal. It can wait till tomorrow. And so you guys just go back to your living quarters, uh, your little corners of hallways. I was like, yeah, what, what do I have as an elder? Uh, you actually so I have do, my, own, my own room. You have your own room, um, and mostly I'm not in it's, the hallway, like everybody else. <laughs> own, own room, but shared bathroom still. Uh, it's it doubles as almost like a storage room, though. So you have your own room, but like there's boxes of stuff. People come in most of the times to kind of grab things and you know things yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, You're I would imagine it's it. still pretty sparse. It's like, very just bare. Sparse. What he needs, kind of thing. There's a door, so you can shut it and have private conversations, but. I'll That's just like I'll, I'm assuming I have like an assistant or a helper or something. Like that. Hey, like uh, clear them some space in, in my room. Like move some of the boxes. We can find somewhere else for the, for tonight. Absolutely, sir. We'll have it taken care of in moments. And so they kind of get up and they kind of Mordai, the wine giver, and they kind of move things around. Um, so yeah, so you guys uh, get some rest, uh, full night's rest. Um, even some of your your items and things that may have gotten some worn and some tears. Um, they give you some, uh, some people start to start trying to fix it and, and that kind of stuff. Spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet spare slots. Oh, and I need to roll for my staff, my charges. It's 2d plus 6. Eight. Oh, man. Yeah, why not? Let's see how it goes. Uh, uh, it makes it more uh, re relevant. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to roll on the, the table, right? table if Max table if it hits. Right? The, so it starts at one and then keeps going up, 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 up. 
until you finally hit it and then it resets. Okay. Which, uh, I think that makes it more a little more relevant. You gotta remind me to, to do the rolling table, so I always forget that. But yes, oh, absolutely. The wild magic table. Oh yes, the wild magic. Last time table. I played him, I rolled probably every other roll. It was pretty bad, <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Oh, and by the way, we have a wonderful uh, player with us today. He's, he's uh, we're borrowing him from other <laughs> games uh, today. Um, this is Ian, and thank you so much for joining us for this evening. Of course. Um, for this, it's not really a one shot. Side, side adventure. Side adventure. Side quest. Side quest. Side quest. Who doesn't love side quests? Side quests are awesome. So were they able to repair everything? Like um, to a degree. It is functional. Uh, it's just not the best. Um, if you want to have like for like armor and things, uh, if you want to have like your full functionality back, um, you're gonna need to go and take it to someone who is a uh, expert in those types of things. Um. But you would have known that uh, some of the uh, dwarven uh, communities are really great about fixing that kind of armor, but they're hidden inside their hole, their halls. They've kind of like bunkered down themselves because Six. of the the elves that are at their doors. Um, crazy, but if you can get a hold of crazy them, crazy cult bastards. Yeah, there oh, you yeah. go. We do need to cut Darkshade off from Mithlin before he gets to Mithlin. Oh, that's true. All right, so everybody has a good night's sleep. Anything else you guys do before you guys wake up? I would like to try and fix Pavel's armor. So I have the all-purpose tool. It can transform into a variety of tools. You can touch an item and transform it into any type of artisan's tool, and I gain proficiency with it. Can I make it into blacksmith's tools and try and patch up Pavel's armor? Um, you can, um, but you can also hand it off to a uh, better artisan. Not a better artisan, but another artisan, and then you can get to full night's sleep, and they can be working with your tool, if you so desire. Yeah, I just want to give as much help as I can, because we did kind of pull Pavel out of, like, yeah, his all... everyday life to come Almost died. finish my a fight we, my we started a really yeah. long time ago, like six years ago. So, yeah. I feel bad and want to fix his armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you hand it off to another artisan. Um, he's very grateful especially since they've sold all their great tools like this um, to keep the rebellion going. If you lose this tool, I will personally drag you to Stygia, and I will make sure my father takes great care of you. And so it's a dwarf you're talking to, and he says, if I should even put a blemish on this beautiful tool, I'll take myself down there myself. Thank you so much for such, a, such an opportunity to do, use this. Can I use this on other tool, other items as well when I'm finished? Uh, finishing the elders. Yeah, I'll need it back before we leave. Absolutely, I'll make sure. And so he just, him and his uh, his uh, other artisans are just working away. Actually, they wouldn't be artisans. They'd be well, it's kind of an artist. Um, mace, masons and. I mean, the, everyone's got two jobs. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Artisan, mason. soldier first, and then you're like, that guy's pretty good at cooking. You know, he's still alive. You know, he's still. Alive. He knows what spices are, kind of. So he minces everything. Yeah, yeah. That dude's a dwarf. He must be the blacksmith. <laughs> like, yeah, we were just. We don't know. He could be a, a, a potter. Like, you that, know. yeah, gardener. <laughs> Elderhold's not perfect for a little racist. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so you guys all get your full night's sleep. Um, you guys get everything back up and running. You wake up the next morning. And uh, you're actually woken up um, quite early. And As always. Uh, this is actually a little... Well, you're used to this. Yeah. yeah. Um, but everybody else Serve is not. the morning god. Um, there's this uh, very persistent and very annoying knocking at the door. And I mean by very much, like they're not stopping until you open the door. And then you hear, are you there? Are you sleeping all day? What do you want, you old windbag? I say to Paracelsus and as I, I lay in bed because I just know it. I just know it. I don't even open my eyes. What do you want, you old windbag? And he just opens the door and he says, uh, oh, good. I knew you weren't sleeping anymore. Who sleeps this late? What is it? 5.30 in the morning? Goodness gracious. Sleep all day. We have business to attend to, and before the Iron Lady comes after me and tells me no, I need to talk to the boss. Now get out of here. He's looking over at you. They can stay. Ah, very well. Oh, that's right. You are the uh, the, the special people of uh, the of Elderholt. Yes, 
Yeah, ah, yes, the original yes, yes. knights. Hi, hello. Original knights. Yes, well, yes, yes. Some very, of us are. Not me. No, I'm I'm very sorry. impressed. Okay, now there's something we need to talk about, and it needs to be addressed immediately. As you know, all of Elder Hold right now is one big poopy cake. And this poopy cake is now running everywhere. Well, one of the poopies is now causing even more problems. There is a, a snake cult, snake, snake following, cult. Cult is a good word. Snake cult, and they are acting up again. They used to be here a long time ago, but we, the old Elder Hold King, got rid of them, but now they're back. And they're sacrificing our citizens. We need someone powerful to go and solve this problem. They need to take out this cult. Just root them out. Destroy all of them. So, we need you to decide who should go. No. By the way, they need to be pretty powerful. The last group I sent has not come back. Who nor the say? second group. Or the fifth group. Who, who have you sent, Paracelsus? He starts naming off guards, and the first guards are like, I don't even know those guys. Like, they must be like... Pavel wouldn't know? Like... <laughs> Okay, you know what? Actually, yeah, Pavel would, I feel like Pavel Pavel would know everybody. Yeah, Pavel would know everybody. So you start, start thinking oh, off, and like, why, why would you send that person? Like, I, I did. When I ask for lunch, I don't ask for this guy, because he would mess it up. But the more higher up he goes in this list, you start realizing, oh, no. Like, I like some of these guys are some of your best people. Um, one of them was, like, one of my paladins. Yeah, like, actually, the last group was all paladins. Um, they were pretty confident. I mean, they're not as uh, experienced as you guys, but they were pretty confident. And not one of them returned. Well, rather than uh, throw more lives at this problem, as you want to do, Paracelsus, I'll handle this myself. Oh! Big elder, big pants. Yes. Go and solve the problem by yourself. You know you can't solve all problems by yourself. You know this, yes. Oh, I've always had this argument already. Fine, yes, you want to go. Thankfully, I won't be going alone. alone. Oh, yes, the special badge people will decide to go with you. Well, there's um, less of you now. Well, I know more, Dai. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we should... <sighs> Zareth, you were... Oh, I'll do anything to get out of this shithole. No offense. So, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> First, I was looking at you goes, accurate. Um, just the three of you, though? I tell you what, I have a somewhat powerful, maybe not so reliable person who's going to go with you. And as other no, elder no, in this, no, 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 you have no, to no, go. No, 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 none of your associates anymore, Paracelsus. We've been down this path before. Wait, 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 what? Who is this? Let's just say he owes us a favor for doing something he shouldn't have done. And before he's allowed to go back on regular missions, this might be a good opportunity for him to make amends. Hmm. And if anybody around here likes to make amends and a redemption for their past sins, I can't think of anybody <coughs> other than uh, a certain elder. <sighs> I've learned my lesson with you enough times, Paracelsus. Yes, but it is your weakness. <laughs> so, I will go get him. I'll be back in a few minutes. And he takes off. Very lively guy you got there. Yeah, I've... I never tell him this, but I've missed Paracelsus. <laughs> <laughs> that old windbag is my favorite. But I'll never let him know that. Of all the elders to survive. <laughs> That man is it a had cockroach, to be him. and nothing can kill him. I swear he's a lich. <laughs> you know maybe, what? Maybe he's he's bringing in Alex. That would be, uh, but I would think he would tell us if it was Alex because we we know Alex. So yeah, I mean, last I checked, he's he's with um oh who was the Heron gone? Who was who was oh. with Alex? What's his fucking Lyria's ally? Yeah, we know who you're talking about. I cannot think of his name. The rabbit guy. 
I don't, it's been five years. I don't know his name either. More oh my gosh, there's too many names at this point. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, there's a lot of names. I'm sure he's going to get a. Big, what about your sister, Alecky? Gonna... Alecky. Yes. Alecky. There you go. It's got to be. Someone. I mean, we can go pick them up. I still have a teleportation circle over there. We're not exactly on the best of terms right now. Me and Adira. She's she's doing her own thing. Uh, what do you mean you're not on the best of terms? Yeah. I mean, you and Adira never really liked each other. We have, we have different desires in life. I want to save Elderhold, which apparently I'm the only one committed to that, but... No, yeah, this was never my house. Just like a lot a lot of bitterness, you can tell. He's what just like a lot of weight on his shoulders. He's not exactly enjoying being an elder. It's not, it's not a fun task, you know. We also need to think about Darkshade, because um, we need to stop him before he gets to permethalin. Formithlin is definitely an issue, but until we can retake Elderhold, that's there's no other. Who task took Elderhold from you? Well, it's uh, part of the history of Elderhold, I, I guess you could say. The the Lady Dorian's terrible shadow she still cast upon us. Uh, her her minions, the the soulless. Um, it's just, and then he would go through and. Mm -hmm. tell, tell the whole history of it. And... Yeah. So the Solus uh, is this weird science experiment assassin type thing, which is more like how many souls can I shove into a, a corpse until it pops kind of a situation. Oh. Um, and apparently the answer to that question is a whole heck of a lot. Yeah. Some lich science, you know. Yeah. But now he has sentience and free will. And so now he took over Elderhold. Um, killed, you would know that gone people. for a measly five years. I know. A lot could happen in five years. Uh, apparently, he, he uh, the tactics that he's using are he throws out these spirits, basically, uh, almost like doppelgangers, out into the the field, and they run out and they kind of do havoc in Elderhold when things aren't done the way he wants. And he also brings people back to keep feeding him. Um, he's a lich at this point. You said kind he like, like defeated. A the crux field, right? Yes. As a matter of fact, he that's who's inside of him is a lot of the characters from the crux field. Yeah. He's hunted them down and he's very, very powerful at this point. So he doesn't have it's not like you're fighting one so the crux field 20th like level character of like all of like the best champions in the area fighting to the death and then they like have this permanent you can't die field on it where they just revive you immediately essentially. So they just kill each other and get really got really good at killing each other. Mm -hmm. Then this guy went and uh, absorbed all of them. Yep. Just, he curvied up all that shit. Yep. Where we group disintegrated that you want to, bitch. Uh, at this point, uh, Paracelsus comes back in and he says, uh, Good, you haven't left yet. Here, let me introduce. Well, Bell was trying. The he man was packing who was up going all quick, like, Guys, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Paracelsus is definitely coming back. <laughs> <laughs> and so, who does uh, Paracelsus introduce? Uh, walking in with Paracelsus is a uh, short, kind of like a, a tan uh, orange kobold wearing black and red uh, clothes with a very high collar uh, cloak. And what is very interesting about him is he has a uh, bigger kobold uh, skull over the top of his head and a, uh, like a cane in his hand and a top hat. <laughs> That's awesome. That's <laughs> uh, which you also see uh, just the tiniest glint of a golden chain um, that's around his neck. Very, very slight to see, but you have seen this chain before. Um, ooh, actually, I wore, no. I yes, wore yes, one. Yes, you wore <laughs> one. Yes, you wore one before. It's a, a chain basically of obedience almost, right? Um, if they do things that are outside of what they've been commanded to keep, um, it restricts and basically kills them. Um, and so he has this chain on him, and uh, Paracelsus looks over at him, and he grabs the chain, and he says, Now listen, you make sure none of these people die. Okay, it's fine if they die. This one is important. He comes back and is alive, and we bring him back here. That's all that matters. Paracelsus, how many times have I told you you're not allowed to use these chains anymore? 
I don't it's remember. fine. They only choke a little bit. See? See? So Can I hold the leash? <laughs> no! I hold the leash. Kill everyone but this guy. Yes, yes. Uh, don't attack these ones. But make sure he comes back alive. We need him. He's important. Just make sure he comes back alive. However, if something happens... And he dies? I can't control him. That's okay. Why, don't he, why he, doesn't he have one? He's the boss. I'm the boss. He's the second boss. We're all bosses here. The only person who's not boss is you with a chain. That's who's not the boss. All those with no chains are the bosses. Fine, then. But come back. I'll keep, I'll keep the, 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 tall, the tall person alive, I guess. Excellent. Come back and a success. No more chain. You're free to go. Come back and he's dead. Well, then you won't make it back either. Moot point at that point. At least you're not a human. Is Paracelsus human? Yeah. No. Uh, he's a gnome. He's a gnome. Oh. Of course he's a gnome. Of course that's he's a gnome. A, that's yeah. Crotch <laughs> old gnome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crotch yeah. me. He usually has gnome. like a giant golem-like creature following mm -hmm. him around, like just bodyguard kind oh, of. Oh, no golem today. He's busy. He's out picking herbs. It's kind of funny. <laughs> that is kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Big He'll be man, back. good gardener. There you go. He likes it. I don't know. Who knew? It's peaceful. It's peaceful. So, this man has my utmost uh, respect and uh, important thing is he's got it. I'm apparently important and all that. that you mean? know what you are, you're a piece of crap. Now, he's very important. Continue. Good luck. Here's the map. Utmost he respect from <laughs> this guy. <laughs> and then Paracelsus just leaves. Uh, so, uh, do you know more about this than we do? Snake cult. What? Snake cult? Dragon yes. cult? So what you would know, because Paracelsus also would have told you, is that uh, there's this one specific mountain that sacrifices what happened at the very top of it. And... Of course, the, the snake cult was thrown away. They prayed to like a, a giant snake god with three heads. And now this cult is activated again. Every night they find someone from town. They drag their tushy all the way up to the top. And they sacrifice them. And for whatever reason, their snake god is appeased. Hmm. So apparently, we're going to kill, kill some snakes or something. Up on a mountain, because uh, what uh, Parasolus doesn't like that god or something. Are you drunk? No. Hi. They don't let me be drunk. Why not? Apparently, chains don't come with ale. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Chains don't come with ale. <laughs> well, think about when you were in chains. Did you want some ale? When I was in chains, the only thing the elves had was very bad wine. Mm. Like they had wine, like cheap wine, like two buck chuck, like box wine. Like well, box this wine point, is lesser. At this point, anything is better than nothing. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Someone shows respect around here. Do I get a well, magical <laughs> vibe from this person? What's your name, by the way? I'm Mordai. Oh, All right, right. I'm Rahosh. 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 I'm Zareth. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, you seem to be the most important. Uh, who are you? Well, as we know, Paracelsus' opinion doesn't matter to too many <laughs> beyond Paracelsus. As we know, how far his respect gets you as well. In chains, apparently. Exactly. So Pavel's just gonna walk over and like try and, and remove the chain. Um, because Paracelsus is a mad genius, he has connected the end of the chain to himself. So he'll know if he messes up and he'll just basically flip a switch and he'll choke him to death if you die. 
So does it chill so, someone I'm messing with? It's <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you should just start messing with it. You can hear Paracelsus like way down the hall yelling, Leave her alone, Pavel! You can't mess it up! <laughs> Do I have to spell magic? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. We'll play Paracelsus' little game, but I'll make sure. And normally he's not good for his word, but I'll make sure he takes it off of you when, when we're done. Well, thank you, ha you have my word. Thank you. Well, it seems uh, we're off to a mountain. I know. Well, do you want to resummon your birdie? So I'm, I need some time. I got to uh, to call in some uh, some assistance. You're welcome to ride upon Atlas. You're, you're small. You'd fit as well. I know you can fly. Um, yeah, I have my broom. Mm -hmm. Is that how we all want to go? We can ride together. Uh, I'll have the broom with Morda. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to spend some time and, and, and summon the greater steed so I have my... I do want to pray to my father about getting some assistance with the Siege of Elderhold. Because mm. I know Dad's got an army. He does. He does have an army. Demon army. Devil. We have devil. a whole Devil army. army. Big difference. Okay. <laughs> you guys not proud of Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Absolutely. Ex exclusively. Exclusively, yes. <laughs> I love the, the, the image Meryl in my Street. head She's of the Vista wearing okay. Prada. I love that, I, uh, that, that image. Mordai's combat boots have been replaced with pumps. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinting through the... I assume they were already. <laughs> yeah, they're platform. I was like, I definitely thought they, they I was like, I know more than that shorter than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So speaking of Prada oh. and Hell, uh -oh. Uh -oh. this uh -oh. is going to get me in trouble online. There is actually, <laughs> really, in the real world, there is a Prada store in the middle of a desert. I want to say it's in New Mexico. Like in the middle of the desert. Like mm -hmm. nothing. Prada, Prada store. store. <laughs> um, in the middle of this desert. I think it's near like Marfa, Texas. Um... Oh, so like way out in bumfuck nowhere. Cow. Nowhere, and it only has like left shoes in it, <laughs> and it's it's an art thing. Like people mm -hmm. go there, it's like. Yeah, Marfa's weird like that. Yeah, it's it's a it's like it looks like a real Prada store. There are Prada shoes, but they're only left shoes. So if you steal one, <laughs> that's gonna, hilarious. A one-legged person could get away with like murder, but like nobody else. Um, but it's an art thing. It's really weird. That's so, super that's weird. Funny. It is super weird. It's actually famous. Uh, the more you know. The more you know. Prada in hell. Who knows? It was in Marfa, Texas. Um, moving on. Um, I like Marfa, Texas. Just saying. Moving on. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so, you guys are going to be uh, heading off to this mountain, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll say a little prayer while Pavel summons wow. his steed. This is this is new for... for uh... Well, I'm praying to my father, okay? So, maybe not. Still long distance devil. phone call. That's yeah, more. long distance. <laughs> <laughs> prayer is a strong word here. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Roll a uh, charisma. No, it's uh, it's religion. Is it religion? Yeah, I'm getting Pathfinder and and. Yeah, there is religion. There you go. It's an intense. I've been learning Dumb. Pathfinder. <laughs> now these terms are like bleeding over. Oh, I rolled a nineteen. Excellent. Woo! Twenty-two. Uh, you get the distinct impression that. Uh, your dad is kind of a jerk, and he kind of wants to see what happens with Elderhold. Like, he doesn't really care about Elderhold. He's kind of interested in seeing what's going to happen, because he thinks something bad's going to happen. I want to make... Like, Wouldn't that make him happy? Yeah. So well, like, I want to make an offer. Oh. Because I know devils love deals. Oh, oh, man. All of the souls that I kill, the people that I kill, go to him as, like, a permanent tithe on my being. Wow. And you know... That's rough. Baby's got a body count. Can you sell somebody else's soul? I'm not sure. I mean, I mean that's a... Like if if Liches can harvest souls, then so could I. Kind of transaction. That's true. Supply and demand. Because normally Supply you don't just, like... Demand. Simply economics. Steal people's soul when you kill them. That'd be pretty powerful. Yeah. So, you're saying... Unless you're like a... Anyone I kill lock. goes to Stygia, my father's realm. 
in in replay in uh, payment for a army to help you. Yes. He's gonna send you an army of imps. He. <laughs> <laughs> With a 19, right? Yeah. 19, 20 total. Uh, you actually hear a response, which is extremely rare Ooh. from your father. Normally, daddy ignores you. Yeah, usually he's just like giving you ideas. I get a vibe. He yeah. gives you the cold <laughs> shoulder. Here's the vibe Extrapolate kind of idea, right? Yes. You have to kind of like extrapolate based off some of these ideas. This is super clear because he's paying very close attention. And he tells you this. He says... You are facing Legion. Legion? Legion. Is that why he calls himself? Wait, dad, does the dad That's... actually repeat himself? Um, I was like, I don't uh, think dad would. Dad would not repeat himself. <laughs> um, you like, that stutter? <laughs> you are facing Legion. Is he one of ours? I want to see what he does. Stand against him if you must. But he'll make you one of his. Especially for who you are. The blood that flows through your veins, you would be held in high regard within his self. The collective wants you. And what about this curse I've got? Do you know anything about this? Why well, do you think Dad's giving out multiple answers to it? As he, as he kind of like, well, yeah. He, as he starts to fade away, you kind of feel this last idea, and it sits. Basically, he's calling Legion almost a god in this in the sentence, and he says, two gods have their eyes on you." As Good. he just disappears. Good. Cool. 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 You just see Mordai's like in the corner, just sweating with his eyes closed. <laughs> Do you check your your? Uh... I'll do it in private. Okay. Um, do a sleight of hand to see if you can do it without anybody paying attention. Or do you like leave? Yeah, it's a room? small room, dude. To be fair, I'm I'll leave fully the room, locked on but... right now because I've never seen him pray, so this is interesting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> watch him. I've never seen you pray either, actually. I've known you a long time. <laughs> Six. So everybody sees him kind of like sweating a little bit and then quickly check his arm. Because uh, it's on your arm, right? It's on your mm -hmm. forearm. Where my um, tattoo is now a brand. Yes. A it's not just a brand that has um, scales growing to the side. It, the scales have reached your palm. Oh, Like shit. it has spread. It's going quickly. fast. Um, Good thing you always wear long sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plate mail, babe. Plate mail. Like you even run your fingers over it and you can feel that it's a it's a hide like it is strong Ooh. and as you do you feel this like weird tingle down your spine that basically says you, know, you should sit up straighter you know you should uh i feel like already has art. really great prince posture yeah but like even then it's still like it could be straighter it could be more perfect it could be perfection and you start uh, like painfully almost putting yourself into position. With a six, he's just over there like twitching in the corner. Right? Yeah, he's like twitching and scratching and right. feeling. Twitching Is the slightly. Bomb still there between Darkshade and I? Can, can, I, just I... Walk, can I just walk up and cleansing touch him without even asking him? Uh, you can. You can try. I'm just going to put it on his head. Um, you do the cleansing touch on um, Mordai as he's got his back to you a little bit. Um, as you do it, you feel a shock in your hands, and your fingers go numb. It didn't work. I'll do it. Is, so is the bond there? It's burned into you. It's uh, not a. It's not a. So now I couldn't even sever it if I wanted to. It's. Like, it's burned into you. Cool, 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 cool. cool. <laughs> uh, Mordai, you want to explain what yeah. the heck? You're being real shifty even for you over there in the corner. I just tried to cleanse you and so, whatever it is is resisting even my power. You remember how Darkshade had a curse? Curse of Jason? Curse is nice. Yeah. Curse is a good word. Brush with ancient weird magic? 
Yeah, the So, in order orb. to keep that in check, I bound my soul to his soul and then drew an extra layer of magical, like an extra magic circle around it to keep it in. And then Darkshade fucked off. And without my presence, our proximity kept the bond strong. So as soon as we were apart a great distance, so whatever it was broke out of the circle. And I'll, I'll reveal my arm and I'll say, and it spread. This is the downside of your soul meddling. <laughs> hey, okay? I was trying to keep my friend from losing his fucking mind, okay? Hopefully this is a lesson you can live to learn from. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, so uh, can I check in on a, Dark Shades then? Sure, but I can I can do a remo remove curse as well. Have I heard of anything like this in all my studies at the academy and stuff? Oh yes. Do uh, uh, what is it? History or Arcana or sure. yeah, whatever much, with advantage. Like not much thinking. of the study type, but I would call in some of my my remaining priests, and I'd be like, "All right, guys." Paracelsus. Like, oh, you're getting Paracelsus in here? All right. Oh um, yeah, uh, he likes weird shit. Oh yeah, he yeah. does. He loves it. Hey, windbag. You said you guys. Uh, we're getting ready yeah. to leave, but um, I need you to address an issue. Uh, help. He looks over at that and he goes, Oh. 31. You're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You're Perfect. so screwed. Can I keep him in like, like a cell to see when it happens? I this is going to be. So you can Fine. You've seen this before? Be difficult. So you would know this as well. You studied the Scarred Lands and knew the, like, the power of, of magic and the effects it can have on other things, right? So that's what, kind of what you've been studying. This is a bond. He's bonded himself to something that now the bond is now uh, bleeding through. So... What other scaly thing is on the other end of this bond is now showing itself in a manifestation of himself. Um, so there's only really two options, either, or a few options. One, you sever the bond, which is now burned into you. Um, so like chop off your arm. I was just um, thinking about that. You yeah. could do that, cut it off, you know, gangrene, cut it off at the source. Um, or stop, or become more powerful than the thing on the other side and then, you know, push things in that direction. Um, or it's going to come through the other direction and push towards you and overwhelm you. Um, or kill whatever is on the other end of that connection. Like, those are really the only options you have. Can I try and push back? I'm pretty magically powerful. Oh, man. Not physically powerful, but... Okay. Well, I'll be like, gather around. Um... <laughs> Think happy thoughts. I cast resistance on myself. Oh, man. How are we going to do this one? This is going to be a tough roll. Um, go ahead and roll. Just pick a, a DC that you think is, is crazy. Yeah, yeah. 45. <laughs> Uh, roll a uh, D100. A D100? Ooh. Do I want high or low? You want you, high. Yeah, baby. roll. <laughs> a 90. 90. Uh, you start pressing backwards into this thing. You're the You feel something almost like a wall on the other side. Um... Its eyes are on something else, which is why you're able to push as hard as you're able to. But as soon as it turns back and recognizes that you're pushing against it, you feel the presence and you can't push any further. The scales have moved from your arm back to maybe like an inch or two around the symbol that's burned into your skin. As soon as it was aware, you weren't even able to move it an inch. Can I redo the circle that I did on Darkshade's back on my arm? What are you tying it to? 
Well, I just did a, the magic circle to keep it in. Well, and barriers, then the planar right? binding separately. I did two things to try and keep it in check. Yeah, you can do that. Maybe give you some more time. Zareth, will you help me draw this? So this whole group of yours is, uh, or sword. new group, uh, oh. Ian. Uh, we they're doing weird on. stuff. I, can you regenerate we're wasting my wasting a lot of time. You got stuff to do, man. Sure. <laughs> I don't want this chain around my neck. Uh, when are we leaving? <laughs> we will help you in a minute. As soon as I know I don't have to lose this arm. What's an arm to a chain, really? <laughs> that is a very fair philosophical question. Uh, you see fair neck, yeah. Ooh, if you tell off the arm, can I have it? Yeah! <laughs> Maybe we can, can you pay him an arm. Yeah, I didn't Would think Would you do so. it if I said maybe? No. Maybe it's a strong word that often leads to yes. Yeah, yeah. it's probably not going to lead to a yes. It's more like... Shh! 10% chance of getting the arm back. I will zap you. Actually, really, you'd only get a longer stuff. Really, I'm offering here at the moment. Just finish, finish up. And, All right. Well, and during this time, draw this circle. So and, with, with his uh, like uh -huh. twenty in charisma, Pavel's gonna give his inspiring speech, like and, and find your mo each one of your motivations. Like you, obviously, money. He'd be like, <laughs> we'll find. Be like whatever we find in this snake cult, like it's got your name on it, a hundred percent. Okay. A new staff for Zareth. Mordai, I promise we will solve this possession soul binding issue. And and no more soul binding after this, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but you, you will have my of my people. You will have my assistance in. Do you get to bind your soul to more than one thing? I don't see why not. Oh, I no do. more do soul binding. <laughs> then he turns to you and he, and he finds your inspiration and. It, <laughs> getting out of the neck thing. We, we will, we will, <laughs> we will make like sure you get your freedom. <laughs> so everybody gets 21 temporary hit points. Uh, nice. And I'll do 8 on everyone. Alright. So you get your 35 to your hit point max. Well, Thander told me that he's out of Griffins. So he gave, <laughs> he gave me a Pegasus instead. Ah, fresh out. So back up, yeah. Mm. What's, what's his name? I didn't even give him one. I did not. <laughs> no. like I shall name Pegasus him. rental only until <laughs> Griffins are back in stock. I shall name him. His name, her name, shall be Shelby. Okay. Diana. Diana, Ross. Um, so Diana the Pegasus. I'm with Meryl. Um, <laughs> I should have Meryl actually. Meryl Streep. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We're speaking nice. of Devil's Prada. That's got to be Meryl. Oh, you know that's actually that kind of fits. Yes, Oh my gosh, yeah, that totally fits. All right, so at this point, um, you guys start taking off, going towards this mountain point. Um, after a bit of flying, a bit of time travel here, uh, you do find where it is marked on the map. Uh, it's actually nestled behind some more of the mountain range area. Mm -hmm. um, and it's almost like a spike. Uh, one might say that it looks, it resembles the shape of a fang. So it's got kind of a, a, a sharp point at the top, uh, making the whole side area, the little um, traversal going down this mountain path, uh, kind of steep, um, broken in some areas, that kind of thing. Um, since you guys are approaching the mountain by flying, where would you guys like to land? Would you like to land at the top? Uh, there does seem to be something there. Um, would you like to go at the bottom where the path starts, in the middle somewhere? Where is it you guys would like to land? We're flying. I'm assuming there's an altar on top. Yeah. I think we should just. I mean, go we don't to fly top. to the mountain to fly to the bottom of the mountain. Yeah. All right. So at the top. I don't know anybody who flies to the bottom of the mountain. Fly. Unless it's. Some might like to hike, you know. Unless Hiking it's impassable is by I magic, hear. which yeah. has. We're happened. in full plane armor, Tom. We, we're not. <laughs> full plane armor. <laughs> we're not like not huge. Not really we like four of us are. <laughs> All right. You're just in robes, right? I assume. Yeah, I kind of like. Oh uh, well. They're pretty well off, but they're, they're mostly just clothes. Uh, do you have items? I have some spare stuff. Do I have my backpack full of goodies? 
Um, you have very common goodies. Anything that was really nice or valuable, but nothing magic. Nothing. Of nothing magic. magical. You just and it kind of pisses you off because you had like spent years getting this nice gear together. You loved it. Every one of the pieces had names, and now you got all this chunky stuff that he just handed you and said, "Go die somewhere." Else. He took my stuff. <laughs> all the important like parts, though. So I have a Shadowfell brand tattoo. I, I produce a needle. Why and I are say, you just carrying a needle? That's very it's, unhygienic. It's <laughs> a magic needle. It'll give you a tattoo. You said what was the <laughs> Shadowfell brand tattoo? It's, it's really overpowered, actually. It's, not, it's pretty good, actually. It'll give you dark vision to a range of 60 feet, advantage on stealth checks, and when you take damage, you can use your reaction to become insubstantial for a moment, having the damage you take. You can use it once per one rest. Holy cow. And then Boots of the Winterlands. Because mm. it's so cold right now. Yeah. Hey, you know, we're on top of a mountain. Maybe it's pretty cold. These are the items ice, I've got, okay? Maybe they're ice snakes. You don't know. Do you have any spare stuff? Even no, if I, I did, I wouldn't it. give it to this strange creature. Are you wearing the ring I gave you? Creature? With, with all due respect. Creature? Are you wearing the ring I gave you? Yeah. Uh, I look at your hand. Creature! He called me a creature! I mean, you have a leash and a collar. That is, that is irrelevant. And I make sure to get my tool back before we leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You just have to put that out there. In the grand scheme, you're right, it is relevant. But for my argument, it's very relevant. Oh, I find that rather rude. <laughs> I apologize with zero sincerity. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and that had a new ability I forgot about. I'm even meaner than I found a ring wall from an old campaign. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> I miss that guy. So there, that's these are the two magical things that I have. Um, when we're done, you need to give them back to me. I mean, I have an extra hammer. Oh, and no, he gives, and he shows you a hammer that's like about as big as you. <laughs> because I, I don't know how much use you'd have for it, though. I don't I, think I could even use that. <laughs> I think you should try. <laughs> Technically, I can. I, what I'll be I have to admit, I do kind of want to see you try it. <laughs> I think it's on I the do table. too. <laughs> Alright, so you managed to find yourselves at the top of this um, what was very sharp. Was 35. 35. In total. A uh, very so sharp looking nice. mountain. Um, there is obviously a I did very that. large looking. Thank you, I wouldn't say altar. Altar implies the idea that there is a level, like a table or something in the middle. This is not a table. This is just a... Um, uh, just a... Plank of metal. Not metal. Um, stone. Big circular stone in the middle of this area. Uh, it's flat, and there seems to be a number of skulls and things and blood everywhere. Um, as you can see. Um, some of the skulls still have their helmets. And as Pavel, you manage to go up there, you realize that um, you recognize a lot of the people whose heads are just kind of stacked up together on this little plinth. Um, some of them were uh, other Lathander um, paladins and friends and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they just kind of been stacked. He's just—he's seen so much death at this point. It's just pretty stoic. Just like, all right, we're in the right place. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nobody around. There's just this area. What do you guys want to do? More than any chance you still have that uh, old ring? Yeah, I do. I do have my tremor sense. All 300 feet tremor sense. Holy cow! Ooh, 300 oh. feet. Uh, at 300 feet, you feel, um, good roll. Um, okay. weird movements Where's underneath you. Guidance? Okay. Mm 
27? 27. You can't put your finger on it. It's almost like bits of the mountain underneath you are moving. But moving is not the right word. It's like kind of rolling around would be a good explanation. Like writhing? Uh, writhing's a strong word. Um, <laughs> More gentle than slithering. that. Slithering. Slithering would be a good, a good solution to that word. Thank God. Um, slithering. But it's not in just one area. It's in multiple areas all throughout this entire place. Your mind would say, this place is riddled with holes. And these snake-looking things are kind of rolling around and sliding around inside them. But that's wrong for some reason. Can we just bring the mountain down? Yeah, I say we just burn the mountain down and just make a new one. Make a new one. You can do that? I mean... Fireball's pretty good after a couple of them. Well, wait, well, well, it is stone, so it's probably hard to make. You probably need to pump a few of them in. <laughs> I can do that. I can pump like 15, probably. 15? Maybe, I don't know, I didn't count. <laughs> that's 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 why am I here? To die for us. We, I could probably to be honest, we didn't ask for you staff. to be here. <laughs> we kind of didn't want you along. I but... thought you respected me. <laughs> I, I respect well, you enough to tell you the truth. Pavel's just polite most of the time. Paracelsus, no, insist, Paracelsus insisted. We are so happy you're with us. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be betrayed halfway through this. I have never betrayed anyone. Now, you might get hit by some lightning, and that, I can tell you right now, will not be me <laughs> okay. or him hey, who does hey, that. I'm not need to cast stones. <laughs> We're not casting stones. How many times have you been hit with lightning? Your allies? By this one? By that one. By that one, never. That one, at least three or four times. I thought you were the trustworthy one. Don't get close to me. When <laughs> you, you looked around. And you thought that you looked the teaching my, is the trustworthy one? You looked into my bl solid black eyes, no pupil, no scolara, and said, that's a trustworthy man right there. Look at my face, I'm wearing my own kind of skull. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Are I we, thought we was kin. Are we the normal ones? Probably. I, I'm always the normal one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Pavel is like... Captain America. That's kind of the vibe he gives, and all the rest of us are like yeah. the Savage Pirates. Land X-Men. You know? <laughs> Alright, what do you guys want to do? Like, if it was... Yeah, like, Darkshade was Wolverine, pretty much. <laughs> he was Sabretooth. He was Sabretooth. Yeah. I'm Storm and Nightcrawler's hateful love child. <laughs> hateful. Very yeah. Um, well... We need to find like a way down, obviously. What's that? So we need to find a way down, obviously. Yeah, is there a More door up any, on top? Any, yeah, any... are there any entrances? With my, did my ring detect Ooh. any holes in the ground? Uh, yes. What's the, yeah, what's the closest discrepancy to the top? With a 20, whatever, 29, 27? Mm -hmm. 29. Um, 27. It's really hard to tell. With the squirming and the... Actual like holes, it's and this whole this whole place could be just one empty ice cream cone of a place, or it could be solid all the way through. It's really difficult to tell because of the movements. So, but your guess, your best guess for like the closest range, there seems to be a cavity below you. How Pavel smash, and I point to like what seems like the weakest spot. Okay. Give it a shot. Alright, uh, roll for strength. Guidance. Oh. My favorite oh. cantrip. I'm not feeling it today. Not feeling um, it today. <laughs> like, smash the ground. Roll. A one. Oh, so uh, he pulls back. back. I slip. The hammer sl goes flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you... you 
do your best. You slip on some of the blood that seems to be pulling in that, that middle area. Um, and you actually obliterate one of the skulls that had kind of like fallen there, like off the little pile there. Um, yeah. Oh. That's it. All right, I guess I'll do it. I just needed a warm-up swing. All uh, Eldritch Blast. Three times in the same spot. <laughs> uh, where are you shooting? Are you shooting... At what seemed like the weak spot that I was the, just at. The middle area of the thing? Okay. Yeah. Um, as you do, all the skulls and everything just fly off the mountain, basically, right? Um, it leaves just this uh, dagger that's sitting almost suspended. Well, it is suspended like an inch or two off of the, um, the rock that's sitting there. And it just sits there floating slightly and kind of spinning. Hmm... Zareth, you're smart. Will you help me look at this? I think somebody has to grab the dagger. You're already, my, you're already Well, hurt. that sounds like a trick. My, <laughs> my assumption is payment must be blood. I, I would think we all would kind of slowly... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> On cold blooded! <laughs> I'm cold blooded. They, 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 they're snakes. <laughs> Slowly they all the dogs. Exactly. They're snakes. Uh, are cold blooded. They, they want blood sacrifice of their kin. your kind. I they want blood of their kin. Give me I my think, hand. They don't like blood of my kin. They don't like blood of your kin. You oh, found man. the reason why Paracelsus <laughs> wanted you to come. We, listen, to come we here. respect you're, you you're so very much. You're very nice. Your blood. <laughs> We have so much respect that oh we think they'll like your blood the best. Oh man, I'll tell you what. That's but then what a... Then... I mean, that's always a... <laughs> I mean, if Pavel does we, we it, would, you We would hate for anything to uh, happen to you. I don't do anything if you die. <laughs> yeah, but then I'll kill you as I die. Oh man, this is... Well, what why? Oh, I don't die. Well, then he can do it well. You die. think I'm the mean one? Zareth's the mean one. <laughs> well, he said he won't die. And you haven't even met Starla yet. No, that's right. Starla's uh, still uh, at. You're, you are here to redeem yourself, are you not? I'm, I'm, I'm here. Hey, a little blood of blood. <laughs> give me thine hand. Just let him go touch the dagger. We'll see what happens. Yeah, just go touch it. Just go touch it. It's all we're asking you. Can I do like an arcana check on the dagger? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Zareth, help. I'm surprised you're like, go touch it. I'll give you the help action and like, Looks evil. Yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. No checks. No nothing. Just, you, you should do it. 24. 24. Oh, yeah, this thing is super evil. <laughs> super the yeah, evil. should be fine. As evil as it looks. <laughs> you should be good. So, can I make a uh, perception or investigation check uh, when looking at the dagger to see if it's like pinpointing an exact entrance? Um. Yeah, pointing it. Yeah, something. do do a perception check. Guidance. Thank you. Because <laughs> that was terrible. I would be oh. standing behind him with like a freaking defib defibrillator of cleansing <laughs> touch, just like ready to go. Ah, here's my D four. <laughs> I didn't help. Uh, that is uh twelve. Uh, twelve. No, it's not showing you a direction. Perfect. Uh, do we know where the entrance is? So yeah, we're trying to find out. That's what we're looking for. <sighs> it's very evil, the dagger, by the way. <laughs> that definitely makes me want to touch it. Yeah. Uh, Powell, can you detect? You have your sense. What yeah. Spooky shit. Divine sense. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't know what it's called though. It's your spooky sense. How far down is it? Uh, more than three hundred feet. Oh, that's. But nice. we cannot fly, so that's fine. Yeah. You can fly, right? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, I forgot my wings in the prison cell. Damn! <laughs> no, you're you a seem like a magic person. man. <laughs> Be magical. <laughs> Fly. Do I get the same? Do we give off the same vibes? Oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> you're like me. You don't study magic like him. You're born with it. <laughs> I can sense it. I can taste it in the air. Ew. Well. Yeah. Hey, that that's a little acidic. Taste hey, quit tasting it. You, no more soul binding, no more tasting. Yeah. Don't yeah. taste my magic, it's mine. <laughs> Do you taste his too? Is that like a. Is that like a I don't want to 
reptation magic? You're a reptile. Are you right. rolling for anything with Bell over there? <laughs> like ozone. Pure. Uh, I mean, divine rain, sense. Storm and lightning. I can, yeah, I can roll with it if you <laughs> like want. Like you put your tongue on a battery. It's like yeah. Yeah. pop rock. Under your religion. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Sprite. That's Jeez. pure chaos. Like static in your mouth. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, with your divine sense, uh, you get the impression that this is a sacrificial. Surprise, surprise. It's a sacrificial uh, dagger. I don't like that. Um, it's going to have some kind of effects on whoever touches it. But that's not the part that's the worst part. The worst part is that it's going to demand a sacrifice. I don't and like that is going to enact a toll. And so you can tell that there's going to be a price to pick it up and a price to pay when you use it. Well, like they got we a need die a price. All right. There's one way to find out. So he Where? rips his hand off and throws it at the dagger <laughs> uh, using mage hand. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, it passes right through. Oh, and comes right back to it. Mm -hmm. Well, that was, uh, I, oh, I, did, I did my part. <laughs> I already have a curse. Somebody else do it. That's why you should do it. That was the worst argument. I'm <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst Extra argument. curses, okay? Yeah. I have two gods looking at me right now. Add a third. Not, I'm sure this one Wait, I can cure. This is a snaky place. How do you know it's not the same? You're snaky. Yeah, it's got scales. Who? Wait, wait, wait. Who might I'll, be your who, god down there? I'll just break the thing if I touch it. I know. Who Who? who are you serving? I'm too holy. Who are you oh, serving? What, what gods are you looking at? Well, um, the ancient evil that's taken over Elderhold, he calls himself Legion. Cool. That's what I learned from my father. Um, Who he did? wants me because of my bloodline. Um, and then whatever this dragon god is, that I'll show you my scales. Mmm. That's Wait, spreading. What Lovely. Look like? They Do look, they look clear. or snaky? Uh, it's hard to tell. It's a Wait, little bit of both. You said you have a bloodline. Who's your dad? Levistus of Stygia, High Lord of the Fifth Circle of Hell. Oh! And you really wrapped do yourself I, up with some people here. Do I know anything about that? You just know he's, uh, what's an arch? An arch devil that's arch been devil trapped in, in an iceberg. Yeah, he's the one floating around in the middle of the mm -hmm. ice. He's the only oh, so devil that can't be killed. Yeah. I know you that have he's to break ice. His curse first. Yeah, yeah, he's inside ice floating around. See, he's your your dad's ice. Cold. Mm -hmm. Ice, ice baby. I'm also cold blooded. Anti lizard. You pick it up. I. You yep. grab and you I slice just, yourself. I just go for it. I just say, fuck it. Fuck you guys. We could have right. sacrificed. <laughs> we didn't even know what it demanded. All right. Technically, we could have sacrificed the bird. Uh, so you grab it. As soon as you oh, grab a I hold of it, it. Uh, your vision is gone. <laughs> oh, you lying. see nothing. Um, you can't hear anything. All your senses go away except for one. And it's super weird that it stays. It's your taste. <laughs> you can really taste oh, it. Oh, I taste <laughs> magic. So the immediate thing that's all around you is the smell and slash taste, taste of, blood. of blood and brains, really, all around you. Oh, that's got to be like your um, fourth favorite taste. And it really kind of like... <laughs> blood of my enemies, that's fine. Uh, oh, man. And you just grab it and slice your hand? I mean, if once, as soon as I lose all my senses, probably not. Yeah, I would, I would think. Okay. What does it demand? <sighs> Fuck it. Oh. Okay. And I spill I need it you to roll a. Oh shoot! Roll a d20. You want low numbers. Natural twenty. Roll the big one. Nineteen. Okay. Should because you don't have one. the sense of touch anymore. Silvery barbs. Oh. Okay. A seven. Excellent. Ah! <laughs> uh, you. As you reach up, you don't have. A lot of feeling anymore, right? Your sense of touch is like really off, which mm -hmm. means you were about to like almost chop your whole damn hand off. Um, at which point he sees <laughs> you like going straight forward. He's like, whoa! And he kind of like stops you a little bit and you start realizing, oh, maybe I should do this slowly. And so you wait until you have some resistance against your hand and slowly pull. Uh, as soon as you pull, uh, you now have one level of exhaustion. Great. And you have Ooh. advantage on your next roll. However, 
you do taste uh, rock and dirt moving. Cool. Ew. I will um, yeah. float close. really close to the ground so I can just keep my Does hand get with my tremor sense back? ring on. You're taking it. You're dropping the knife. What are you doing with the knife? I still have it in my hand. And you're doing what? Touching the ground. Because uh, I have tremor or... sense for 300 feet. It's gone. You can't. T- you can't tell. What happens if I let go of the dagger? You put the dagger down. Yeah. Everything comes back, but it takes like a minute, and then eventually you're like slowly, 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 slowly. What is it, slowly. boy? So how did it go? Can I uh, cast Identify on the dagger? I'm just like real Absolutely. blinking really heavy at you. You have to identify the whole time. So, <laughs> I, as a sorcerer, I don't get that The one. name of this dagger is, no. Um, so what you identify Holy off cow. of it is that, yeah, it is a sacrificial dagger. It's meant <laughs> for these specific rituals. It's meant for self-mutilation, and it's also meant to gain entry. Um, it's the price that uh, zealots have to pay in order to gain the right to move forward. Usually, in when they use this thing, they're chopping stuff off. Because they don't recognize that the feeling of touch is so off. They end up sometimes chopping their arm off, or legs off, or whatever, fingers off. The fingers are the most common. Could have solved two problems in one. So, yeah, you I just like figure two yourself. two hands. Dude, we'll um, Skywalker you. We'll get you in that pretty better cool. hand. Everybody roll perception. A different really hand. Uh, this one will be at disadvantage for everybody. I, I, I already Can I use my camera sense roll. ring? Nope. I already have oh. disadvantage. You already have oh, disadvantage. 219. I have uh, sunlight sensitivity as a kobold. <laughs> oh. yeah, we get all of our really <laughs> good rolls out. That's right, way. baby. 15. 15, okay. That's what Tom did to me last time. 9 plus 8. <laughs> no, I got 21. Nice. 17. Okay, so everybody sees this. Uh, you would have seen this. Does my uh, sense of taste feel actually, really great? You would have sensed this through your taste, which is I really, really disgusting cool. and weird. Yeah, where's like a snake? He's over here like... <laughs> yeah, so what happens with Put you is... Away. You sliced yourself. You tasted your blood in the air. And then it hit the ground, but it didn't stay there. Ooh. Everybody oh, else oh. saw it seep immediately through the rock and go down below. And you, everybody else would have also heard a drip from the other side, like a condensation. And then... Is my sense of taste still really heightened? Like for a few seconds before all your other senses come back, yeah. Uh, your magic tastes like the ocean. you tell if there's anything worth it? Yeah, it checks out. Uh, Mr. Oh, oh, this is social go- Mordai. person... <laughs> sure. Uh, Mordai, master of the mo- mead, was it? Or mo- mo- wine? Bring wine. over the wine. I remember Bring that. Bring over the, the wine. The wine, um, the wine giver. That's your title. You may call me master, whatever. whatever sure. Uh, do you, can, you said you could see un, under under the earth and stuff. Yeah. Can you see if there's any one... Well, first put down the, the, the weird knife thing. I already did. Mm-hmm. Uh... Can you tell if there's anything under the earth within 300 feet of us? Do I sense? Do I get any vibes? Yeah. Lots of stuff's moving down now. Ooh, within yeah. three Before it was just like slow, kind of like meandering kind of stuff. Now things are awakened down below. Pavel, I'm feeling sleepy. Can you get me with one of those healing your magic hands? Oh, yeah, you can it's, heal! I'm the It's not gonna do. It's not gonna wake you up. From exhaustion? Your cleansing touch can't do exhaustion? No. No, no I don't, it's, it's actually pretty limited. It's, what about uh, your greater restoration on your necklace? <laughs> I didn't roll them for that, actually. Let's see if we get those back. So it's I, disadvantage I on ability checks only. So not too bad. You're just not tired. too bad. Yeah. Just a little, little, little sleepy. Little, little bags under the eyes. I should have given you an advantage. Yeah, I'm just kidding. My bad. Okay. Um, did you take? Did you take any damage from the deep slice oh, yeah. in his palm? No. Ooh. 
Okay. It specifically cut your endurance, your your um, so it closed. exhaustion. There is no wound. It cut your pulled your blood from your hand. It dripped on the ground, but there's no wound. There's no damage. All right. You said that there was people exhaustion. all around us, right? Yeah. A lot of movement down there. We could do this two ways. We could sacrifice your bird. I don't think you want to do that. Or we could do this a little bit harder. Sacrifice you? No. Oh. <laughs> that would be a lot harder. <laughs> yeah, that would be the hardest, most no option we could possibly have. Well, I, th I think things are in motion. I think we should prepare. I think I think they know we're here. But first thing, I'm going to cast protection from good and evil and, and try and like, like scoot the knife and like toss it off the mountain. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, you, you see it as it kind of, you know, goes off the side and slips. So it's gone. <coughs> I was like, I have a 21 strength, so I'm going to like... Oh, you're going to yeet it. <laughs> All right, you yeet. Uh, as soon as you pick up the dagger to yeet it, you, you go blind. Oh. Uh, your emotion, your, everything goes dark. The protection from good and evil didn't help at all? Nope, nothing. Okay. Sorry, um, I have the intention still. Yep, and so you grab and you yeet. Since you're not cutting anything and you're, you're knew this was going to happen, you're kind of very clear not to get near yourself. And you just yeet it in an off, uh, empty direction. Perfect. All right. Shoot at it with Eldritch Blast, I guess. <laughs> so what was your other option? I could just open the door. <laughs> That'd be nice. Please do. I'm going to get okay. my hammer ready. So he kind of walks over with his cane and then knocks on the door. Yeah. And it just opens. Because I cast knock. Nope. What? Oh. Well, didn't I already open the door? With my sacrifice? You tasted um, rock and dirt and dust moving as if a door is opening. Oh, man. So it should already be open. Oh, Do you have to no. carry the dagger down as you go? Does my spell slot... Have we tried to open it? Spend. Yeah, no, can I cast it? You can 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 you can, there's nothing to unlock. Oh. Well, can I search around for this where it will open? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, how do you want to do it? With my tremor sensor? Okay. Uh, and they're gonna sniff it out or, or taste it out. Here we're we can't do that anymore. He's got the the, the daggers Someone off. Needed the, the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> In retrospect, the throwing of the dagger might have been a little too soon. Uh, I regret. I, I regret nothing. Well, how do you wanna? How do you wanna look for it? Like with my tremor sense ring, so okay. any openings? Uh, yes. Uh, tremor sense. Go ahead and do a a perception check, not with advantage. It's gonna be a high roll. Okay, eighteen plus eight is twenty-six. Uh, when you first start um, examining the immediate surroundings, you're very frustrated very quickly because there is no opening. There's no opening up here, <laughs> like zero opening. The knock didn't work. And so you get frustrated, like, okay, maybe it's just not here. Maybe I gotta keep going down further or an outer. And then you start realizing there's an opening, but it's not here. It's like halfway down the mountain, or not halfway, um, like a quarter down the mountain from where you're at on the path. You missed it. You flew to the top. You never saw it. Great. It's down there. Well, I wasted my magic. That's pretty cool. I really liked you how did you did something magic. I, I, try, I tried at least. I really liked oh. how the part where you were like, "I'll open it," and then you went and did something, and then nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty I embarrassing. It. Really, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, uh, I yeah, embarrassing wish we, for you. All right, let's go. I, I, I kind of wish we we knew that it was there already. Uh, pre pretty embarrassing. So you start walking I down this mountain. Side eyes <laughs> it's uh, it's very steep, um, and you're very close to the edges. Um, you I'm do get fly. I forget you could identify the crazy magic okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's flying. I'm flying on the Pegasus. Are you staying close to the mountain, or are you just mm -hmm. kind of just like yeah, skirting it? Yeah, the, I want to follow. We, we the kind of skipped to the end on the last time, so this time we're gonna follow the path a little bit closer. Um, so fly as, over the path. As you come around, you keep coming around. You actually do see this one entrance. Um, we're coming around. You do mountain. see that there is some debris and things that were. Um, kind of near the, the pathway of the road there. And you realize that this is what's opened up when you guys 
did the sacrifice, when you did the whole point of exhaustion, it cracked this part open. Matter of fact, as you say this, you look at the sides and you can actually see where the stone was rolled away, basically. And now you have this opening. Is there anything you want to do before you head on in? Mm. Good job, Mordai. Mm. Great. Thanks, Boo. Great job. Keep stacking you know, up those curses. You know, I am, yeah, you know. We'll just we'll clear them all at once. We'll just get you like yeah. a free, you know, hard reset. Hard reset. Do you know how vampires reset. are made? Probably. That's a weird question. Mm. It is a weird question. I think so. You think there's vampires in this cave? Maybe. How many binds does your soul have? <laughs> Hey, bit. what's one more between friends? Yeah, right, 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 right. right. So you know, when I die, I want these bitches to fight for my fucking soul, okay? <laughs> how many, I want to see how many gods I can sell it to before they all bitch at each other for it. <laughs> how many IOUs do you have? Currently right. two. Currently two. That's already a lot. I would um, consider two and a half even, because your dad, you know, might be willing yeah, to Yeah, that's that true. Fight. Technically... Depending on the day, you know, if he's feeling really Well, that's really more like, you're not a dinner warlock, bell you're, a, to come you're a sorcerer. Really? Uh-huh. Okay, so yeah. that's not... But that's I'm also, mean, like, a prince. Yeah, so your dad counts as one, so it's three. Six. So three. I'm going for four, okay, you know? Even numbers. There, there is, I, mean, I you're hear, a, you're a, a new god around so, here somewhere. Yeah. There's some discrepancy if, with the line of succession there. If you sacrifice the high priest, you might get four with the, with, you know, the snake. And too. then ask for forgiveness from Lathander. That's five. Yeah? I'm gonna start collecting <laughs> gods. I'm gonna cast <laughs> fire shield on myself. Uh, I'm gonna extend spell to make it uh, double the time so it lasts for two hours instead of one. Alright. Anything else you guys can do before you walk in? Nope. Cast um, light. Okay. Um, as soon as you cast light, uh, you see that this is uh, definitely a very nasty cave. Um, What's nasty about it? It's like wet? One, yes. It's, it's wet. It's, it's very, moist very cave. moist. It's very humid Stripping. inside here. Does it squelch when we walk? Um, no. I flow. It puddles. Yeah. My Prada boots do not touch this ground. But when but you walk and you start crazy. smelling things and you start realizing what's it's actually going on you realize that <laughs> it's not water Ew, mm. I elevate it's more like slime slash workings of inner bodies fluids kind of flowing through the cracks in the walls there's like blood um, all seems like almost like little rivers on the on the walls all going to certain areas Hey, if anyone's support. too uh, high up for this, we can leave right now. Just say we we did it, and then you know. Pavel doesn't even break stride. Yeah. Just mm. keeps going forward. He's, uh, he's un unbothered. He's busy. I mean, we could lie about it, and you know, I can leave not like normal. I stand by my statement that my proper boots don't touch this ground, and I shall remain floating on my broom. You don't want. I mean. The protos can't get dirty. We can leave right now. Mm. I took my boots of elven kind one though, so okay. Maybe, even though full plate armor, I'm still not trying to announce our presence. Very long. spry at the moment. And you're you're super stealthy. I'm uh, small, not necessarily stealthy. Well, you're tattooed now. I was like, that's you got advantage. That's, boo. That's, that is correct. I do. Um, everybody roll perception and extra dark vision. Mm. Um, Perception. are we no longer within daylight? Correct. Per perfect. Regular 22. roll. Can I guide this myself? Uh, no. This is okay. just a regular... Then 22. 16. 16. You don't see it. You do see it. 14, I don't see you, it. 18. You see it. Um, as you guys are kind of examining everything and looking around, uh, the two of you guys hear like a small piece of rock or rubble or whatever kind of come up behind you and you spin around really quickly and you notice that there is somebody watching you uh, and they are looking through the rock as if it were glass mm. so they're on the other side the rock formation you can still see but it almost looks like there's glass in between you and them and they are just sitting there staring at you and this is the person that's look at you and they're on 
So I was like, I looked like tentacles at first. So I was like, no more tentacles, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Done with tentacles. Where's it at? Uh, behind the wall with the uh, skeleton there. What skeleton? Oh, okay. Oh. Perfect. And we're all... Yep. Go ahead and place your minis on in. Hey, you put the hammer back on already. Uh, that is... I break, this a... I break this hammer off, like, every week. That's an awesome mini. Holy Isn't God. that amazing? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. Chris, we miss you. We but do miss you, Chris. But your art lives on in our games. <laughs> yeah. Just telling you right now. That's awesome. Holy so God. incredibly beautiful. All right, so um, the two of you guys see him. He's not reacting. It, I mean, it almost looks like he's just watching you guys gleefully. I'm going to kind of like surreptitiously look at Mordai and just be like, you... Uh... I also see him. I also am radiating 10 feet of bright light and 10 feet of dim light from my... Just the blue flames crackling along my body. Uh, uh, as you uh, I'm assuming you're walk 10 closer, feet away from him then, right? I, I want to be close to you. Sure. I'm within 10 feet of you, boo. No, no, no of me. I'm saying okay. the cobalt that doesn't want to be in the bright light. Are you going towards uh, the guy? That I, oh, it's only daylight. Yeah. Huh? Are you going closer to the the guy in the in the rock? No, we're kind of like. Should we skirt around? We're, him? we're seeing him, but not seeing him. Okay. That's bad. We'll kind of be like. Uh, there's uh, over my don't don't make it obvious, but a few over over my. <laughs> You're like what? <laughs> Where? Okay. Um. What do we want to get jump on him? Sure. I mean, he's watching us, so we definitely won't get the jump on him, but we can certainly try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You shoot. You can use a spell slot. No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn around and just cast light right on like directly. In front of him? In the eye slot or whatever. Uh, as soon as you do, the rock comes into full focus. Um, and you can still see... Uh, think about it in terms of like it's dark outside and you go... Mm -hmm. You can see when it's light on the inside and dark on the outside, you can see through the glass. As soon as you put light on the opposite end, where the darkness is at, you can no longer see the through the glass. You can only see your reflection. That's what's happening here. Mm. You put the light on there, and now you just see rock. Turn off, turn off. Um, but you can see like his feet down at the bottom on the other side of the glass. Can't see through it either, then. No. And you can hear him now on the other side, and it, his voice actually carries through the entirety of the cave. Be you initiate, avenger, or sacrifice. What god do you serve? What not initiate think? then. Avenger or sacrifice? Definitely not sacrifice. Even those who are Avengers eventually get sacrificed. Murderer. We're murderers. We're gonna murder you. Uh, Avenge sounds right. Avenge. I like those. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Good, good head on that one. What are you gonna do to avenge? Avenge. We can, yeah. we can sacrifice other people. Murder. Who, who it's not chosen. called murdering. Okay. It's oh, well, mercy. Okay, I take back what I said. I gave them die. the mercy of my hammer. If To if, the face. That's just Pavel. What it's if someone else chose sacrifice? Yeah. Then, then our vengeance could be part of their sacrifice. If someone else previously chose sacrifice. Hmm. This one they, talks a lot. What if someone chose initiate, became sacrifice, and then now we can avenge? And we got all three. Everybody hears, while you're having this debate, um, the stone is actually closing behind you. Cool. Oh, the door? Yeah, yeah. And then it shuts. Expected that. Yeah. So it would get dark if I hadn't cast a bunch of light all around here and you didn't have, like, a flaming shield on. Mm-hmm. Or a bright bunch. Yeah, should I... Now you become sacrifices. Oh, my bad. Die Waiting. well. Is it just me here? After the Elder Brain, is he just not scary? <laughs> Uh, yeah. kind of like, I'm just kind not just getting yeah, scary vibes right now. Just like, all right. no, no, I don't right. know what an elder, whatever it is, is, but I, I, I don't want to be sacrificed. <laughs> I don't you, like you're that. not going to be sacrificed. You just like Pavel just kind of pats you on the head, like you're going to be avenged. Be okay. You're going to be avenged. You're not going to. <laughs> you guys 
Bullshit. Bull 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 <laughs> such bullies. Just say like I that. think I should have chosen jail. <laughs> As you, you guys, <laughs> as you guys continue, poor life decision on your part. Uh, you see a uh, a stairway that goes down. Uh, it only goes down maybe um, a flight, um, one story, and then it just dead ends in this uh, rock bottom. It looks, it feels, and looks as though there is no other tunnels. This is just it. Uh, m- m- misters can, can can see through other walls and stuff. Is there space be- behind this? Mm. Hold on. I have thoughts. I want to cast true saying on myself. Okay. So I'm going to give myself the ability to see things as they actually are for the duration. I have true sight, and I notice secret doors hidden by magic and can see into the ethereal plane out to a range of 120 feet. And I'll do uh, extend spell as well. So for two hours, I have true sight. Holy cow. Read that one more time. <clears throat> ethereal plane, <laughs> invisibility, mm-hmm. secret doors. Uh, you can see things for as they actually are for the duration. You have true sight. Notice the secret doors hidden by magic can seem to the ethereal plane out to a range of 120 feet. Hold on. Let me see what true sight actually does. True sight's pretty cool. You realize what you're inside. A snake. Um. Are we in a creature right now? Uh, it almost looks like that. It's not but it's almost as if you are. Like, the walls are actually... They are made to digest everything that's inside of here. Oh. Um, In addition to that, there are creatures all looking at you through tiny holes in the walls. And as soon as you notice, they notice you, they attack. So, true sight is... A creature with true sight can see out to a specific range, see a normal and magical darkness, see invisible creatures and objects, automatically detect visual illusions, and succeed on saving throws against them, and perceive the original form of a shape changer or a creature that is transformed by magic. Furthermore, a monster can see into the ethereal plane within the same range. Yep. Yep. Um, go ahead and place your uh, minis. <clears throat> I want to be next to Pavel. <laughs> It's my only criteria. Wherever you Everyone's so desire. I would so imagine you guys are close to that bottom um, middle area. I imagine Pavel's in the middle, actually. I'm down here. Where would you guys I'll like be, to be? I'll be floating. I will gladly just be in above the you. <laughs> We're on the stairs still. I'm. I guess. Probably not that far back. Starla is not here. I'll be secondary tank. So I guess I'll stay. Frontish. Okay. Let me go ahead and place Miss my you. people. Miss you, Starla. Oh, Starla. Do we I'm have the, the um? Today. Oh, perfect. There you go. Oh, the yeah. this, <laughs> the most important thing for us spellcasters. The magic stencil, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's not so, a, yes. a 60 foot cone, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but still. I do have cone. One, two, three, four, and the special one. All jump out from the sides. Uh, before we roll initiative, we're going to take a quick break to refresh them and uh, all that kind of stuff. We'll be right back. All righty, and we're back. I love that. Back. To so much fun. Uh, the craziness, and we're about to roll some initiatives. So, uh, go ahead and do that in the app, and we will go ahead oh, and right. get ourselves 18. started. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna change uh, uh, the mood. Yeah, can we get some music? Uh, so wait yeah. Till initiative for me. Beautiful. Oh, I got my whopping plus zero. Let's, let's see it. Oh, coming in at nine. It's okay. Holding up the rear. Alrighty. Uh, Ian, where'd you roll? Natural 20 plus 2, 22. 22? Oh my gosh. All right. I've never my... gotten such a good roll on the app before. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So, 
Uh, that means that you're actually going to be the person who's going to go first. So, uh, Morda, you see all this craziness going through the, the walls as they're all converging, um, and you yell out that, you know, get ready! And Where are they? They slip they're in the through walls. the walls. I <laughs> see. And... What do we see? Um... What you see, uh, I should do. Everybody, do per- quick perception checks. Let's see how much you and guys. And we're see. no longer in sunlight, correct? No sunlight whatsoever. You're inside the cave. Eleven. Eleven. You do not see it. They look like normal, uh, crazy cultists to you. Like people. Eighteen. You see it. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You see it. Twenty-two. All right. Get rolls. All those high rolls for me. Uh, the three of you guys realize that although they are cultists, and yes, they are humanoid, um, they look like their bodies have been taken over. Um, strangely enough, like your disease, as if it was completely covering your entire bodies, um, they look like they're becoming more and more snake-like. As a matter of fact, even though some of their faces are starting to elongate, um, like a snake's, and a lot of them have the, the, uh, the fangs popping through. Um, they're all in some form of mutation. Um, all right, Ian, your character sees all this, what is he going to do? There's one right in front of me. Uh, Basically. Pretty much. Are there's um, a, are there, they're like up above us though, right? We're down in this pit? Uh, yes, yeah, so the the stairway starts uh, pretty low, comes all the way up to the second floor. Um, all the way okay, to the so they're, they're not that high. Either. So, like, I could see this guy right here, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like maybe Perfect. five feet in front of you, ten feet. Well, forgot. Do you want to... Maybe make the squares bigger then. This is like a small. Well, I mean, not in the front of you. I'm sorry. Hi, uh, higher up. Oh, okay. Elevation wise. Are we using diagonals or are we using like? Okay. Yep. Very important. <laughs> then I will um, I will cast Eldritch Blast at it. All right. Uh, the one's right in front. What letter is underneath that one? C. All right, C. Go for it. How? Probably three. Yes, I do. Ooh. Two horrible rolls and a great roll. Um, 12, 16, and natural 20. 12 does not hit. 16 does. Natural 20 does. Ooh, Perfect. 16 hits. Wow, so you really hit a lot. I know you're like, oh my gosh. No, uh, magic initiate. <laughs> ah. Um, 18 force damage as he throws the, like, rod, and it turns into, like, a bone, hits, and then, um, bounces off the walls a couple times, hits again, and then comes back to his hand. Kind of like Captain America's shield. Nice. Very nice. Um, they're actually shocked at the fact that you could see them. Uh, they thought they were sneaking up on you really well, so now they know that you are, um, alive and well. Um, anything else you're going to choose to do with any movement? I have nothing else. All righty. Zerith, you're up. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to cast a fireball back there on those two. I'm sure I can get it to get them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll do that. Just keep it simple. All Does right, one of so... them look bigger than the others? Need a deck save of 21 from those two. Uh, from D and I can't see which one that is. B. D and B deck saves. The B D. Yeah. Uh, B uh, makes it. Okay. D does not. <laughs> 30 30 points Ooh, 30 oh, points of damage yeah. to D yep and then 15 to whichever one saved B, B. excellent alrighty and what were you using again uh, it's fireball fireball so this explosion happens above 
and it lights up the entire cavern as you see the the full range of this cavern that you're in. It seems to almost ripple slightly, almost as if it's alive. Um, any other movements or anything else you're going to choose to do? Um... Okay. And Mordai. So I want to... How high, how tall is this cavern on the top level? Uh, the top level is about uh, 13 feet up. Okay. So I can't fly over him to avoid the attack opportunity. Can you get me to the space right here? This one diagonal? Yeah. I have 50 movement on my fly. Okay. On my you still on your brooms? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to cast Cone of Cold from my staff in this space. I want to angle it this way, though, so I don't hit Pavel. Okay. So all four of the... Oh, but that's you. That's not a monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we established he's a creature. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Just kidding. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. <laughs> no, it'd be funny. If then like, I, it, it would be funny would if you were very, if the very first thing, like you were like, hey, you can trust me. And then the <laughs> very first thing. Great. <laughs> then can I actually, so I was right next to Pavel right here. I've been trusting you the then whole time. Then I'll fly right here so that I can get these three in the cone. Oh, fine. You know fine. Okay. I mean, you can angle it to still get him. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm not trying hard enough you to, if you don't hurt me. <laughs> I will deal a shitload of cold damage to you. Don't talk. <laughs> oh, it's perfect that you two, gave me those face boots face. then. Yes. Perfect. That is, that is actually true. Don't actually hurt me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you these for a good reason. <laughs> oh, you thought these were to help oh. you. They're to help us. <laughs> it's D8. It's 8D8. I don't believe so anything So then you make a con save me. DC 19. Sorry. Do you need D8s? I have four mm-hmm. ready for you if you want. My glasses yeah. frame has been broken for a couple months. <laughs> 19 is the DC? Oh, did the yeah. lens fall? All down? three of them fail. Yeah, the, uh, the bridge of my glasses. Oh, that sucks. I apologize on behalf of my dice. Oh, you're actually hitting the um, the special one over there, X, right? Yes. You're standing next to X. Gotcha. I am standing next to X. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you for helping me. Uh, yeah, I'm super blind. So <laughs> I always will help somebody find their glasses. Thank you so much. It makes me feel a lot better when people help. 35 for <laughs> full damage. Um, I can't operate without my glasses. Uh, 35, okay. So then, then what, 17 on the save? And that was X and what are the two letters? D and B. A, D, and B. Oh, wait, no. This That's is X. A, Tom, not X. It's A, D, and B. That's A, so D, cool D. that you, like, letter your characters. It's so cool. That did make things a lot easier. <laughs> so we're like, that one! <laughs> <laughs> I'll, as, I'll quicken spell and I'll cast Crown of Stars. So I just, the eight, or the... Seven stars glow around my head again. Okay. And you're up. That's it. Alrighty. Uh, the one that is A is going to go now. I don't think I can fire one. Okay, first do it. Mm-hmm. Um, a pulls out a dagger. Um, and it swipes at you. That is a... Oh, that's a 20 to hit. Nope. Uh, natural. Oh, no, not natural. I'm sorry. Um, unnatural 20. So it misses you. How high um, up are you? Just 10 feet. Because oh, okay. he said the ceiling's only like 13 feet tall. So, yeah, like 10 feet. Next thing it's going to do... Just have to make it a little awkward for him when he's slicing with the dagger. Da, 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 da. Um, I need for you to do a save. Um, I need you to do a wisdom save. That's not natural twenty. Ooh, um, you feel this weird. Almost makes your vision swim slightly. It's almost the same as when you grab the dagger. 
uh, when your senses started to, to bleed off into non-existence. But you seem to grab a hold of yourself again before it could take a full effect. Um, you are fine. You did save yourself from that. Um, B. Uh, the closest one to B is who? Um, That's B there? Um, it's going to jump down and come after you. Rochambeau. Rochambeau. This isn't going to be good because I have a really low arm. <laughs> this is a 25 to hit. Oh, it definitely hits. Um, so you're going to take uh, five piercing damage. I'm so glad for those temporary. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, and actually, you're going to take. Um, I need you to do a Constitution saving throw for me, real quick. DC 15. Do Colts get resistances? No, unfortunately not. Bless <clears throat> her. 18, so I succeed. Um, you feel that, like, oh, that wasn't too bad of a hit. And you're like, oh, that, something about that doesn't feel quite, quite right. Um, you take two additional necrotic damage, but you, oh. but you pinch a hold of the, the wound, and you realize that the wound wasn't going to close. Did you, did you do a save? Um, you get plus five. Oh. You're in my aura. Yeah, uh, so you, you succeed. Because 23 works better. <laughs> um, yeah, so you succeeded, so you're not going to continue bleeding out. Perfect. Um, it would have comp- completed... Thank you, Roman. It would have continued to give you that every round. Um, you also have a bang. But it only gave it to you once. Um, the next thing it's going to do is it's going to cast a spell on you. I need you... Actually, this is an attack. 10 feet. Does a 13 so, hit? And Paladin Absolutely it does. Spell. Oh, wow. Um, this is necrotic damage as the spell hits you. Get it. you get it. Oh, is this just a spell attack? This is yeah. spell attack. And it's not that much. It's only going to be 7 damage um, as it hits you. I can't believe I have no reaction spells. Holy cow. 7, you said? Mm-hmm. And uh, what kind of damage? Necrotic. Okay. Uh, I take that. Um, C. I take that 7 for you. Oh, is my where? reaction. Thank you. C is the one on the stairs, or is C the one up on the top? C, C is this one's the one up here. Alright, perfect. I need everybody to do a constitution saving throw who's in that <coughs> middle there area there. You have it both of y'all have advantage and plus five. Do I have to? No. I'm over here. Inside the bucket right there. <clears throat> Natural twenty. Excellent, you save. Uh what what kind of save? Uh, Constitution. Oh, really high. 33. Saved? With no, 18. 18. Yeah, 33. 18. Oh, 23 with the plus 5. Oh. Plus five. Excellent. So all of you saved, so you only take half damage. Don't forget. Yeah. yeah. That was all right. So with my... Can't forget. Now that I'm using conflict, you also have advantage against all spells and... Magic. Magic. Half damage okay. is 17. So everybody takes 17 damage. It's going to ride in your pocket, dude. Is that necrotic? How uh, yes, that is all necrotic. 18, as this, you said? Uh, 17. 17. 17 total is the halved damage for everybody who saved. Um, as this wave of just sickness and death just permeates in that area. Um, wow, these are so cool. <laughs> And yeah, last but not it. least, I love I love Paladin so much. Holy cow! Oh, I know he gives a gives a lot of buffs there. Um, Paladin keeps us alive for a good reason. He's the core of the team. D is which one? This one here. Oh, Go perfect. straight line at either of us. Yep, yeah. it's also going to do the same thing. So I need you all to do the same Constitution saving throw once is again. This a spell. I uh, still have advantage. Um, you believe so? Yeah, advantage. I would like to cast counter spell. Natural twenty again. Uh, the other one casts counter spell on your counter spell. Okay. Natural 20, you save. Sorry, guys, I tried to shield him. 28. 28, save. 21. Everybody saves. One can only do so much. I could have counterspelled to counterspell that counterspelled your counterspell, but I didn't say to that. Did you guys ever see that homebrew rule that's whenever someone casts counterspell on counterspell that it rolls the wild magic? (laughs) That's That's anti magic. That's That's pretty great. Uh, 22 damage is what's halved. And it's necrotic? And that is also necrotic, as it does the same exact spell. Cool. You Bavel. finally got through my temporary hit points. That's Mine right. too. You, oh, I forget. You're resistant, huh? I'm, so I'm you're resistant to necrotic. Yeah. Alright, Pavel, you're seeing all these things come around you. 
What are you gonna do? Oh, I finally get to go. You do. Yeah. yeah. Solid nine. Hold my three. Here's what I wanna do. I don't like that this guy approached my new. Yeah, your new I don't buddy. Know about friend. Slave. Workplace slave. 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 Work Indentured slave. servant. Prisoner. Workplace he's associate. Work, I working, like that. Yeah, workplace associate. Work workplace his... associate. <laughs> it's he's crazy. Hey, you didn't use your movement, right? Not yet. No. I, I, would, I would be like, stay close. And then <laughs> move forward. <laughs> so if you haven't used your movement, you could use it. Um, and then I'm gonna smack this guy. Okay, which one? This a, B, is Z, B. B. Alrighty. Not the greatest, but not the worst. Uh, uh, 22 to hit. 22 hits. Alright. Um, let's make it a second level smite. No, nah, we'll just do a first level smite. So, on the weapon damage, that's... And do you need to know what's radiant? No? Okay, good. Because that definitely helps. And then on the smite... Ooh, much better. 34 damage on that first attack. Ooh. And I'm that one is dead. Oh, okay. Cultist B, right, is gone. Yeah. I was like, hey, don't, don't, don't approach my friend. <laughs> we're friends now. If I kill for you, we're friends. <laughs> no, no, avenge. Avenge. If I avenge for you, we're don't avenging. Avenge my sacrifice. Avenge my temporary hit points. <laughs> <laughs> we're not murdering all these I people. Can't we're avenging. The <laughs> um. Then who go? Yeah, I'll go after. I mean, you could probably reach this guy. He's ten feet away from you. No, I, he's, he's also straight up this wall. This is stairs. Uh, I could try and jump it, I guess. What did I move? 5, 10, 15. I still have... Yeah, 15. So what kind of acrobat... What kind of... Uh, not athletics. Athletics. It wouldn't be acrobatics. It would be straight athletics. I'm just going to yeah, try and just... <laughs> Just leap it. Just grab. Oof. I'm like, I'm coming for you. That's right. <laughs> all, uh, all pectoral muscles there. All right. Ooh, not too bad. Thirteen plus five, eighteen. Ooh, nice. You grab a hold of it. The lip. Just one hand. And you, who's the other That's one? Pretty cool. And you kind of climb up, ta ta, and you're there in front. All right. Um, the the cultist who sees you there looks a little shocked. You get the impression now that you're up close that you see all the scales and things. But the uh, the ones who are oh, most of the... this is a snake guy. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that in the first one. It's pretty cool. Uh, they are somewhat weak. I mean, they have some some interesting, you know, spell attacks, but they're not very strong for some reason. That spell uh, that still probably hit. Uh, Nineteen to hit. Oh yeah, hits. All right. I'm not gonna slide on this one. <laughs> and that's D, right? This is D. Oh yeah. That is for 12, 19 damage. It is dead. Alright. Another one bites the dust. Alright. Two have been saved. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Um, bonus action. Oh, we're going to do stuff so Sanctuary doesn't really do too much. Nope, I'm good. That's it. All right. Um. Is it top of the round of Morda, or no? No, actually, you? it's uh, X's turn. X's. X. On the guy. Oh, oh, here. Big guy. The most scary. So you see him. More. Yeah, he doesn't look like the other ones. He looks a lot more um, prepared, ready to go, um, and he kind of laughs whenever you're killing off all the other ones. Um, Saving. Saving, saving, the avenging yeah. the others. It's really about um, perspective, really. Yeah. Cleansing. Cleansing. Uh, he takes his first. Uh, he has uh, axes, and he gets the axe and he throws it over towards you. That is a thirty-one to hit. Silver barbs. It's not a spell. Oh. Well, that's just well, any roll. It. Yeah. Oh really? 
Any D20 roll. Oh, all right. Doing it again. 34. Uh, 29. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and I already used my reaction to counter spell, yeah. so. Uh, it hits. Yep. I'm going to give you advantage on your D20 roll. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, 12 bludgeoning damage. From an axe. Holy cow. It's a really blunt axe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bludgeoning damage plus uh, 11 radi- uh, radi- uh, necrotic damage. I need to do a constitution saving throw, DC 20. I'm not next to Sir Pat. Remember, you have advantage. Oh, that's true. Constitution 20. Oh, yeah. Here's the beefy Plus boy. 27. 27. Uh, there's a moment when this axe hits you that you, your your sight just goes completely. Like someone turns off a light. Oh, and then it comes terrible. back as you force yourself to not go blinded. Um, as you reach down to touch the axe, it's gone. Oh. And oh. you see it flying towards you once again. Oh, my God. Oh, he's got a bone to pick with me. Uh, 31 to hit. Yeah, that'll do it. It's terrible. I That's rolled. I was the one that paid the price. I rolled horrifically. Uh, that was a 10 bludgeoning damage. And necrotic damage is an additional 8. I need you to do another constitution saving throw. That was a great roll. Easy 20 again. Mm-hmm. I didn't get it. Oh, you are now blinded until the start of his next turn. Even with true sight? That's a great question. And <laughs> tremor is sense. It, that and com- tremor sense. Is, are there, is tremor sense. Uh, well, what's the range? true sight say you can't be blinded? I think I literally said that when you're reading it. I think so. Read the report section, make sure it says that. As long as your true sight allows you to not be blinded, you're fine. Or like you automatically save or something. I think I said something like that. Yep. Yeah, automatically detect visual illusions and succeed on saving throws automatically against them. Proceed the original form of any shape changer. See for non magical and magical darkness. So your vision then shifts as if it's, um, it's being affected, but then it shifts right back into your, your regular stance. But you have the distinct impression if you had not cast out on yourself, you would be blinded until his next turn. Um, next thing up. True Sight fucked me the first time and it saved me the second time. I'm never going to use the spell again because I'm scared. Of that How did True Sight fuck you over? In the Scarred Lands, it was like there was too much magic. Could I capture all of you guys within the 60-foot... Dome. He does like, not I'm care sphere? about. He does not care about. Oh, uh, if it's just what? Yeah. 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 Everybody, yeah. Right? Sphere. Is there anybody that his uh, his buddies that are also going to have to make this save or no? Yes. Where is he centering a. this? Just enough to get all of you guys. He does not care about his own companions. He, he could do it without hitting C and hitting the rest of us. Which okay. Is just a. Is a uh, yeah, but to hit me, he'd have to hit his buddy. Does it look like he's casting a spell? Um, it does. I will counterspell him. Oh, okay. Uh, you see him, um, his hammer, is, uh, his axe back in his hand again as he's about to cast a spell and he feels you stop him. Um, just as you feel like a tremor sense almost throughout the entire ground all around him, so if you stop something quite large from attacking everybody. Um, he looks back over at you and just laughs. He's just having a great time. Um, uh-huh. Next, but not least, um, where is the wizard guy that you guys had before on the other page? Or on the other screen? Did you guys move him? Oh, yeah, right he's there. right here. Uh, put him in dead center. I forgot sure. about that guy, holy cow. However, he's not in the center of the room. He's actually in the center on the ceiling. So this is about uh, 30 feet up at this point from the dead center there. Um, 15 feet up from that second level. Um, And he has a uh, javelin. And he starts a throwing. Uh, he's going to be throwing over at you. That is a 27 to hit. Sure. 
That is a total of 18 damage, which is slashing. Love it. Oops, I rolled that twice. Didn't mean to do that. Um, next one is 12 damage of cold as this spike is now through your body. You can feel the cold just emanating from it. And that's all for the first one. The second one, he's going to um, throw over at... Before I decide, let's I all roll a d20 and see who he throws at. Oh, no. Highest number wins. Well, this was a... 13. Uh -huh. Natural one. Uh, no joke, I rolled a nat one as well. 18. All right, so it looks like you're going to get the oh, natural no. 20. Uh, all righty, so... Oh, no. I thought I was for sure going to get it with 13. That's, that's 18 slashing I can't damage. Both that sure is. That's uh, natural 18? one of my life. 18 slashing and 24 cold damage. Which you're resistant to because you're good. I am. Nice. So, what's on the sleeve best thing? There you go. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. You said 18 cold damage, so it's 6? Oh, uh, wait, 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 9? That is. 24 cold damage, 18 slashing damage. So 12. 12 cold. Yeah. And the last one, uh, so he got one with you, one with yeah. you. Uh, Pavel, you're going to take the last spear as he throws it down. 24 to hit. No. And you see this thing slice next to you uh, after you did your great heroic jump up to the top. Um, and now it's back at top of round. Very You're well. up. Um, yeah. Mm. Did A die from the... Oh, no. The kind of spell, never mind. Yep. Uh, they probably would have taken out A. The guy with the axe is D, correct? Uh, it's, X. He's X. 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 And the wizard's just the wizard. I was like, D's dead. How far up is X? Uh, from the dead center of the room is 30 feet up. From that first level where Pavel is, that's 15 feet up. Probably Wait, like 10. I, I'm going to need him to make a DC 18 constitution saving throw as I vortex warp him as high as I can. Uh, deck save? Uh, constitution. Constitution. Ooh, eight. Perfect. He is a nine, the nearest um, unoccupied space that I can see within 90 feet, the, clo the highest one up. Just like I just want him to feet. fall as far as he can. All right, so he falls until the thirty feet, then, right? Uh, perfect. You're slow. You're throwing him basically to the ground. Uh, yeah, he starts at the top of uh, as high as I can see, and then just falls to the ground. Straight down. All right, yeah. So that's thirty feet. That's eight. Three that's six. Three six. And it eight. is prone though. Yeah, by me. Oh shit. Uh, uh, he uh, takes eight damage. I succeed my wild magic, so oh, that good. is perfect. Um, yeah. All right. Um, as he hits the ground, you see him kind of roll over on his back as he just melts into it, and he's no longer seen. Oh, oh no. That is not as good as I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Any other choices? Or is that all? You're done? Uh, one moment. That is all. All right, Zerith, you're up. All righty. Um, I'm going to... Um, oh, gosh. Let's see. I'm going to cast... Fortune Ray. Okay. At the uh, guy up on top. All right. That's uh, A, right? Um, I don't know. He doesn't have his number on him yet. No, it's Wizard. Oh, that guy. The Wizard. Yeah. He's disappeared. Wizard He's man. gone. Oh, was well, it him that disappeared? Or X disappeared. Oh, I thought that, yeah. Oh, no, no. So he vortex warped X. Oh, X. Still... I gave it to the wrong one then. Yeah, okay, the then X guy. So he's still prone? Because that was horrible. Yeah, he's still prone. The Wizard is... Just, still at the top, then. He's just melted away and back into the. No, no, no. Stone. He's no, still the there. Okay. Okay. But, and the wizard's still there as and well. And the wizard's still there. Okay. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that looks pretty juicy, huh? That is pretty juicy. And he's prone, so he has a Yeah. I'm gonna do a. I don't know how many fireballs you should throw in this tight cap on you guys. Yeah, well, let's I'm into it. it. Let's, let's do test it. the theory. I mean, chaos rain, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna do a fireball and try and get all these three, like, casting in the middle to where it. Like, in the air to where it pops out and gets all three of them. So you're casting a spell? Yes. Counterspell. Counterspell. Oh. Counterspell, your counterspell. <laughs> and how many counterspells did I do last time? I just did one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and I, don't, I think this is the one that did it. Alright, so yeah, they're out of their counter spells. Okay, quick. Continue. Okay, so fireball on these three. Uh, wizard, I think he automatically fails because he's prone. Yep. And then, I can't see if that's, is that C? C. C. Okay. C. Wizard and, and C. You need to roll dex save. And I'm doing it at fifth level. Well, Wizard's still at the top, right? He's on the ceiling. Yeah, and you said that's 30, 30 feet up? Oh, yeah. 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 Fireball would get him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'll, I'll explode it like at the midpoint where it. Oh, okay, so right like, like there. He's going to get there. the maximum. I feel like Zareth can do the all three. I can do an intelligence Population. check if you want. No, no, I think that's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> not that big of a room. I think you could eyeball it. <laughs> Explosion <laughs> happens in the middle of this entire room. Oh, Lights oh, up the is. whole cavern with light, I and then. I don't know, maybe there should be like some structural damage with some fireballs sure. in this short little area. I don't know. It's a cave. It. It's a cave. Like, it. yeah, you're setting off dynamite in the cave. I think it's uh, in the Dungeon Master's Guide 1. Uh, we were just talking about it in the Walk yeah. Beyond the Westlight for item, uh, for like stones, uh, yeah, hit points, and AC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so what is it? It's like. Good. Let me look it up for you and then send it to you. Uh, Sounds good. Um, Running out, of You're running out of third level spells now. Fireball. 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 That's 42 damage. Nice. So 42 to the uh, there X. There you go. X, 42 wizard, to C. the wizard and 42 to the C. They, they both failed. C is dead. That's good. Um, and actually, yeah, they all they all failed. Nice. And B uh, fails automatically, or the, the X. X fails automatically, so. It's actually really close to you, too. Very cool. nice. Boom! As this lights up and everybody's almost deafened for a few seconds. Oof. Um, Pablo, come protect me! <laughs> <laughs> come back! They're gonna be pissed at me! <laughs> Alright, Mordai, you're up. I just say, Jesus, Sarah, that was loud! <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't actually know who that is. Um. <laughs> God. No, I'm panicking. Uh, I'm just gonna thunder step away, okay. which is gonna be really loud. Great, more explosions. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually <laughs> a thunderous boom sounds within ten feet. Just make a con save, DC nineteen. Okay, who's this gonna hit? Uh, A. Okay. I'm gonna do a fourth level. Oh. Oof. Nice. Plus seven. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thirty-five points of thunder damage. Is there any save with that or no? The con oh, nineteen. Con nineteen. This is for A, right? Yeah. Oh, fail. And then he'll also take. Uh, an additional seven because of part of the storm. So that's a total of. Are you storm sorcerer? That's so cool. <laughs> Holy uh, cow! That's why I said my magic would taste like ozone and outside. Oh, and that's rain. so cool! I love storm uh, sorcerers. An extra seven, so 30, 35 plus seven. Thirty-five. That's what it was. Thirty-five, and then seven. Oh, it's alive. It's, it's not very, not very much alive, but alive. I mean, breathing. You see breathing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll... There's some slight breathing. Not happy breathing. Not happy breathing. Labored I'll breathing. I'll go all yeah. the way over here because I can teleport 90 feet from that. Okay. 
and uh, I will use my bonus action since I cast Crown of Stars okay. last turn. I'll shoot my one of my radiant bolts at this floating wizard guy. Okay. Twenty-five to hit. The floating wizard twenty-five does n- yes, it does hit. Didn't want that. Yeah. <laughs> That was close. Ooh. I rolled oh, one, shit. 12, 11, 11. Damn. Ooh. Damn. 22, 33, 34 points of radiant damage Ooh. to the wizard as I shoot him in the back so I teleport across the room. Nice. 35. Yeah. That's 35. 35. Yeah. 12 yeah. plus 11 yeah. plus 11. Plus one. Plus one. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't get the plus one. I can count, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one of these is yours. Alright, what else are you gonna do? One's yours. It looks too similar to me to tell. I think this one's I think mine was darker. Yeah. No, these ones obviously. Right? Those I don't know. I looked at it and I was like, mm, I don't know. Any other choices, Mordai? No, that's it. That's my action. Alrighty. A, or what's left of them. Yeah, I think both. Um, yeah, think who can A one. reach with an attack there? Does it have range? How, yeah, how, how far can he go? Uh, he can jump 30. down. Yeah, if he jumps down. He could get it. If he, 30? I'm up on the landing. He can get to me. 5, 10, 15, 20, Yeah, 25. he's just going to go for you. I was like, I just struck down his buddy. Two uh, of them. If, he, if he was I, watching, there was two. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. Uh, he's going to do... I, I, oh, I have a helmet on. I was like, mm-hmm. I, there was a little smile on the second one. I need you to do a wisdom save. He's beginning save. to like it. <laughs> Yep, a wisdom save. Uh, we're looking at DC 15. Me? Wisdom save? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, thank God I have a family. That's a little bit of a <laughs> <Yes. laughs> um, But I'm pretty good at wisdom. 22. Okay, so you save, so you only take half. Um, total is 18, so we're going to take... Uh, what kind? This is uh, necrotic. Right. So for you, it's like half of half, isn't it? It's, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's half of half. Um, and it was, it was a weak attack. I and mean, you can see him just doing the very best that he can. Um, he stabs at you with his dagger, his ceremonial dagger. Oh, uh, 23 to hit. No. Uh, it was a great effort. He tried. He tried. <laughs> 23 And he almost... Hit? No. Holy cow. He's doing his very best, but I'm like... Yeah, you're just you're just you're just a tank. Uh, so with that, staring him right in the eyes, it's your choice. What do you want to do? It's my turn. Yeah, you're up. That was kind of sad. <laughs> it was kind of sad. <laughs> just leave him alive and kill the, big, the main guys. Leave him to get caught up in the AOE later. <laughs> if we use non-lethal damage, we can incapacitate someone and charm mm-hmm. them. Talking to the wrong group. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have charm person. I can kind of make us a friend to guide us through the temple. If we really need one. Yeah, maybe they don't arrive, Bab. I mean, yeah. I know it's bad magic. I mean, he said half-heartedly. <laughs> a, a gets opportunity. I know it's meta gaming. A but does still. Yeah. Because oh I'm just, I'm just turning and jumping. If like, I wins, see him there, and I saw his attacks at me, and I was like, all right. Yeah, and then I just turn and run and I'm jump off back to my, my friends and, and to X on the ground there. Uh, 22 to hit, and no. that doesn't hit you still. So no. he's swinging again, doing the best. Yeah, I mean, he's, this person is just holding on with whatever left. Yeah, I just, like, blocked him with my shield, kind of, like, hit him back back up into his face a little bit. <laughs> all, <laughs> oh. all right, so I'm like, hey, down. you tried. Yeah. And then I turn and jump he's like off. Missing his eyebrows. <laughs> Good he's effort. Like, he's like missing his eyebrows. He just got like exploded. Oh so, yeah. There's oh wow. Left. I rolled a three and a four. On that. Oh, at least it's advantage. I only missed the first Ooh. attack at least. I'm assuming a 16 hit. Does that hit X? No. All right. Hopefully this next advantage attack is better than the three and a four. That's a five and an 18. So a 30 to hit. 30 hits. Alright. Um. 
kind of energy, what kind of vibes am I getting from this guy? Like, yeah, he's got a, a cool axe and stuff, but is it like mainly the axe that's cool? Is it him? Uh, I, know he's, I know he's obviously better than the others, but yeah, this one is. Am I like, am I getting leader vibes or more of like lieutenant? Uh, it's hard to tell. Definitely either leader or lieutenant. Okay. Um, definitely in charge of something. All right, I'll do a third level smite. Thirteen. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine damage. Yeah. Nice. As you just start pummeling him, as he's on the ground. <laughs> I jump down and just like hammer smash to the to the dome. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, bonus action. I'm gonna turn to Zareth and cast Shield of Faith. All right, so you've movement and you've used both your actions? Yeah, then uh, concentration, please. All right. I don't know if you want, it's plus two. He's gonna stand up with his action. Uh, he ha or not. Is I get opportunity attack when he stands up next I don't think so. I think that was Pathfinder. Is that it's, Pathfinder? It's a DM call, in my opinion. I, in my opinion, if somebody's standing up next to you, but it's up to you. How about time? Uh, maybe if it was someone a little bit less uh, uh, seasoned, I'd probably say yes. But no, and he like rolls backwards. Guy. He's D did like he's a doing a little little dance. Okay. He snaked. Um, first hit. He snaked up. <laughs> Tw <Yeah. laughs> Twenty-eight to hit Pavel. That hits. And then the second hit was thirty-two to hit, so that's also hitting. That'll hit. All right. So first damage um, with the axe is. Uh, 14, and then Radiant, or not Radiant, I keep saying Radiant, um, uh, Necrotic is 10, and then for the second attack is 14, and Necrotic 8. Um, I need you to do two Constitution saving throws, both of which are DC 20. Pass. Pass. Ooh. Uh, you as well start feeling the this wave of blindness coming over you, but you're able to... I just uh, shout, La Thunder! <laughs> and the light of your hammer glows ever more bright. Um, and you do not go blind. Um, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, yeah, three he... Yes. Um, and he's right in the middle of everybody. Right? Well, he's standing next to me. He could move to be... Yeah, he could move to get to Zareth or... Who's behind you? A, d a dead guy. Okay. <laughs> a dead, dead guy and Rochambeau. Rochambeau. Oh, Roche. um, we don't know where Mordai is. He, he exploded. Yeah. I, I assume he's dead. So he has a... <laughs> he's seen me do that a million times. He's going to do another spell attack. You seem um, unreliable in that Which sense. means you get an opportunity <laughs> attack on him because you're right next to him. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will, I will, I will go. Um, I, I didn't get advantage, but I rolled advantage anyways. I still rolled a four and a five, so <laughs> wouldn't have hit. Nope. Uh, so he dodges out of the way as he casts this spell. He's gonna try to get anybody. Uh, who can be grouped up into a sixty-foot radius with only hitting everyone, without <laughs> hitting himself? No, no one. Just, no one. He'd be able to get these three, but he'd have to kill A to do it. That's what he's going to go for. Oh, but um, he didn't hit the, the wizard, too. Uh, yeah. The wizard is not going to be hit. He's up too high. He's, he's concentrating it much further down. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so all those three people, including the, uh, the last uh, remaining weakling, uh, everybody needs to do a dexterity saving throw, DC 18. Uh, Can I roll for... Uh, uh, Minion A. Sure. So you'll have advantage and plus five. You said uh, dexterity, right? Mm-hmm. Plus whatever his... Dex is plus three. And you said you, we have a plus what to... Plus five and advantage. That was a 24 for me. You seven. say... What was the... He got a seven. Minion A. <laughs> I rolled a four. Yeah, he died. This um, is going to be my bad uh, with, a, with all of my shit and advantage, I still only got a 16. Oh, so you failed. Uh, who else failed? Uh, so that's one here. There was the 
The guy on the top dies. 28. 28, so you succeeded. God save me. <laughs> so, <laughs> absolutely. Con or Dex? It was Dex. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was a Dex save. Uh, so, total damage, necrotic damage, is 8 if you oh, failed, necrotic. 4 if you saved. And an additional 15 damage uh, necrotic if you say, uh, didn't save, and then half that for uh, a save. Uh, so 15 is an odd number. Right? Yeah, I know. So, so 7. 14. Seven. And that is him. I assume that pe- minion A perishes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Minion A is gone. He did not care whatsoever about uh, minion A. Um, well, we tried to keep him alive. Uh, it's at did this we? point um, you hear the wizard the... at the top. He throws his javelin down three more times. Um, he's going to be going for... You've caused him a lot of help. Yeah, so I assume I get one. Yeah, I you're gonna get one. In the back. Actually, I'm gonna, he's gonna give you two, and oh, then man. you're gonna get one as well. Me? S- uh, no, uh, Mordai. So first one, twenty to hit. Twenty what? Twenty uh, AC to hit, hit with the. No, uh, two general? zero. Yes. No. What's your AC now? Twenty-three. Nice. Uh, Thirty-two to hit you. Yep. And background for the last one. This Love way. It. 15 to hit. No. I'm going to say no on that one. Lower, I could have blocked it with the shield. But... Oops, wrong one. It was just a bit too high. Uh, 20 slashing damage and cold damage, 4. Oh. For Zareth or for me? Ah, uh, for you. Zareth didn't get hit. Yeah. So... He's nimble as fuck over there. Yeah. That's all, that's all <laughs> totally nimble. Get up. I have resistance now to cold damage, so I'll him. take half. So two cold, two cold. and how much? Uh, 20 um, for the slashing, or for the piercing. 22 total. And Ouch. he disappears back into the ceiling, and it's gone. Oh, oh, wait. Back to top of round. Can I make it an arcana check to see if it was melded into stone or some other, um, like yawn team? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, magic. Uh, yeah, roll for arcana. And I have true sight. Do I see him? Just like. Just chilling in the stone. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can see the true form of any creature altered by magic. Yeah. 26. 26. So you guys both see this then. Perfect. Um,. Uh, it's, it functions the same way melt into stone would work. However, it's not stone. Um, it's more of a flesh. So it's actually more meld into flesh is probably more accurate. Mm. Gross. We're in a flesh yeah. cave. Okay. Yeah, you're in a flesh cave. Yeah. Is that the first time? Get your flesh loved. <laughs> it's Scarlet not the first time. It was a terrible place. It's not the first oh. time that you've been <laughs> in, 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 in a, a cavern of flesh? Yeah. No. We've been swallowed before. That's... It happens. It happens. This party things. is scary. At least three the, times. The Lord, four I kobolds. have more flashbacks. <laughs> um, <laughs> just fully dissociates in the middle of the battlefield. What? Let me get to my... Uh, we are Dispel ready. magic. Okay. Um, is he casting it with a third level or higher spell? It's not. Actually, it's not even a spell. Is it? So it's not magic? Oh, well then that doesn't work? Nope. Okay. It's like dispel magic's not reaction either, though. He's not, it's his turn. It was, yeah, it was my turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had top around. That was Crack sad. That was a sad waste of a third level spell slot. Anyway. Oh, do you do roll for wild magic? Huh? Oh, you're wild. Oh, oh thank you for wild magic. Me. Yeah, I triggered okay. wild magic. Perfect. Okay, uh, so I'm roll your to... table. This is going to be terrible. Thank you for reminding me. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry guys. Thank Sorry, you so much. Work. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I want nothing more than this. Let me get to my wild magic table. Uh-oh. While you're doing that, uh, Zereth, you're up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're standing right next to him. A Modron appears and uh, wiggles around for a little bit. A Modron? Yep. It's controlled by you and it does whatever the hell it wants. It is a Modron. 
know what that is. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it is of whatever level little you metal want it to be. Little well, clockwork creature. Yeah. And it has no loyalties, but Neutral. it just like exists for the next minute. Okay. Yeah, the Modron like yeah. would just sit there. So and, like, like there's all all the creatures that represent all the different alignments. This one represents neutral, neutral. Oh, boring, dice. boring. Yeah. 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 Is it this? All right, Zerith, you see a Modron okay. pop up in front of you guys. I've never seen. All right, that's kind of well, crazy though. I'm gonna move behind my. Have you dissected one of these before? Sure, we can try. I'll find it eventually. <laughs> get behind my new best friend, Pavel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and before I move over there, I'm just gonna shoot a, uh, a fire bolt at the, at X. Okay, go for it. What's the? Uh, it's just an spell attack. Uh, Twenty-eight hits. Burn him! <laughs> <laughs> for real, huh? You hear me yell from way over here. Um, it's 18 points of damage. Nice. Oops. There it goes. All right. Um, and for my bonus, nah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, that's fine. All righty, Mordai. All right. So we're in a flush time. That's Great. terrible. Thank you. And Thank the you wizard is gone. Yes, wizard has disappeared. X is still alive. How's he looking? I look uh, down at he him. He looks pretty bloodied. I mean, he looks insane, but he's bloodied. Then I'm gonna scooch up just enough to be able to see him. Like, oh, he's not laying down. He's not prone anymore. Yep. And I'll uh, scorch him right. Okay. At, uh... So that's six rays for them. Okay. Twenty-four, thirty, twenty-three. Uh, hit. Twenty-three hits. Twenty-four hits. There was another one in there. Thirty. Yes, hits. Oh wow, that's great. Natural 1, 16, and 20, 31. 31 hits. 16 misses. 16 misses. So that's four, four hits. hits. Four that's hits. crazy. So 8d6. Oh, here we go. That's the, the dance of the dice. <laughs> 20 dice you got our call. Okay, that's pretty good. 10... Forty points of fire damage. Excellent. Uh, as you are using a uh, bolt, right? Fire bolt. Uh, scorching or, ray. Scorching ray. Uh, as you just start scorching into him, he lights up and looks out and says. Be as one! And his whole body just melts basically into the ground and starts seeping through the rocks. He is now gone. We could follow that. There's cool axes on the ground. You are now out of combat as the wizard has. is no longer Do able I to be seen. Do I see him still in the, in the stone with my true sight? Nope. Is the cool axe on the ground? No, nope, everything's <laughs> melted. His axe, body, his armor, his axe, too. everything. Yeah. So everything. He's got a bunch of dead of snake cultists. Uh, actually, as you start to uh, rummage around in the body a little bit, you start feeling that all the scales are basically just the hide of this thing. Like, that was his armor, that was his weapons, everything was a part of these, like, scales. We're talking... Are you, who, who are you talking about? The guy in the middle, the one you guys dis disintegrated. Oh, he. I, oh, okay, I thought he like melted into the stone like the other guy as, who escaped into the stone. Oh no, no, melted as in like melted, melted. Oh, like, looking which of the west. Oh, like bad melted. Bad melted. Bad oh, melted. okay, not good. Microwave so he melted. He went through like cracks in the ground. His 
all of his essence kind of just spilled out and it was like absorbed into the ground. Gross. Does that get it on me? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I got his I, essence I on me. I quietly say to myself, see, can you I get a high can body you? count? More die. I got you. Get us off my. So, you guys seem to have been on more adventures than I have. Very familiar with flesh caves. <laughs> We can talk about that it's later. Actually my favorite train. <laughs> uh, yeah. However, does this look like? Oh, I'm assuming this isn't the end. Uh, do you think the weird melted body went through the cracks into the secret layer? Probably deeper. Uh, you you said you could see through stone and stuff, the magic stuff. Can you see where we can walk through? Well, I mean, we still haven't gone down the stairwell. We barely got to the bottom of it and got jumped. So we're probably going in the right direction if we got. Oh, we got to the bottom and we didn't find anything. It was a dead end. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a dead end. It's a dead end. You gotta pay attention, Morda. I'm sorry, I was too busy and sitting. You're 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 teleporting around, make it very loud. I'm sorry. Very loudly. Sarah exploded first. Okay. Sometimes I have tonight. I'm in a flash cave. I just explode. Oof, great natural. Work. Oh my gosh! It's a natural reaction to such a thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do I sense any other tunnels, passageways? Underneath. Should we have brought that dagger? Maybe. Probably. There's other daggers around. We've got like four dead cultists here. Yeah. yeah. You want to check their bodies? Yeah, I do. They're all carrying the exact same daggers. What's the Modron doing? Okay, somebody else oh, do it this yeah, time. The Modron's like looking through one of the bodies, like uh, like the, the ones you guys have incinerated, and like picking up Does anyone scales. Anyone speak weird robot thing? No. Uh, kind of looks over at you and says a few things. Hello. Uh, I speak. And then this one is gone. Damn. He's out of there. I was Took his stuff say, with him. I speak some like, various weird languages. Damn. Weird. I think it's your turn to, uh... Yeah, somebody else play the fucking blood debt this time. I don't want to hit one. There's plenty of blood around. Well, can we, your hand. Can't we just... Oh, yeah, let's just throw one of these people on there. Okay. Can't we just cut one of the dead cultists? Wait, there is is yeah, there you a can sacrificial try. mound? Uh, no, but there is uh, some blood and things that are in the middle of that uh, rock formation in the very middle. The it, same as it was above. In, in any of these four holding on to life? Maybe making their oh, death Oh, no, save. they're all gone. Death saves, nope. you know. Incinerated, incinerated, incinerated. I can incinerated. bring one of them back. Fireball so does not leave much behind. There really is. The two of us could it would have been great. maybe to gather up the blood that has been spilled for sacrifice. Sure, it's always worth a try. Um, I don't know where we would put it, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh... In conjunction with your prestigitation, I'll shape water. Yeah, I mean... Okay. So you gather a bunch of blood. It sits in the middle of this room. They, got, they have a really creepy like, homunculi. <laughs> <laughs> sitting there. Um, who's going to grab the Who's going to grab the knife? Uh, I mean, I we are concentrating on the spells, so someone. This should... is my dedicated reading time. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I grabbed the knife. Yeah. Uh, so where are you picking up the knife from? Which of these guys are you picking them up from? B. And he's right next to you guys, right? Yeah. So from B, I need you. So you're wandering now with a knife because as soon as you pick it up, you are blinded. You can't find the blood. Sarah. You can't see him. You can't hear no. anything. Everything is... Guide him towards so. the blood. I'll start pushing him. You don't even feel anybody pushing. He's just standing. Guide his hand into the... Bef before oh. I pick up the knife, I'm actually going to cast Aura of Purity. <laughs> so, as long as I hold concentration on it, uh, purifying energy radiates for me, and we... Are unable to be blinded, charmed, deafened, frightened, paralyzed, poisoned, or stunned. Oh, Holy cow. well done. Wow. Uh, so you pick up the knife and immediately like, all your I'm senses. I'm like, guys, I got this. <laughs> this knife is not going to defeat me. <laughs> uh, That's sure enough. why he's the, the important guy. You just hear me like chanting a little bit. If you haven't listened really close, I'm just saying, like, let that out, let that out, let that out. 
Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Um, you retain all of your senses, and immediately it's sensor overload. Um, so instead of it just being a little bit of, like regular hearing, you get twice as much hearing. Instead of just normal sight, you get twice as much sight. So everything is at extreme. Even your touch, your feeling, you can feel the ground underneath your boots and like almost pick out rocks from your feet. Um, so it's like super sensitive. Um, at which point you're gonna take the knife and slice the puddle of blood. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Hopefully. Or blood. blood. I'm gonna um, try that, but if that doesn't I'll work, at this I'm point, you're pretty, do it myself yeah, as you're well. pretty okay. protected from this. So. Uh, you slice through. There's no um, any rolls because you can actually see what it is you're slicing. Um, it goes through, but it doesn't pass through anything. It doesn't, doesn't cut anything. All right, I'm done playing games. We know what's needed here, and then all right, I have to take off my gauntlet, I guess, and then one level of exhaustion, even with the aura of purity. Mm-hmm. All right. Does it prevent exhaustion? So it's just saving throws. Disadvantage on ability checks. Sorry, not saving throws. Ability checks. Um, as soon as you do, you see what looks like blood slip from the edge of the knife, um, land on the ground, and immediately that hole that you guys are, or the rock that you're standing over. It's my blood, right? Yep. <laughs> it's my blood. Like, like the knife's not creating blood. <laughs> it my, opens my up. My blood glows a little bit. And everybody falls. Oh, no. I'm flying on my broom. Um, whoever is not actively flying is now falling, I, unless they are standing. I try and catch. If you're over an open area at the moment, which I'm assuming is everybody, except for uh, I fly those stairs, but yeah. Zarya and I were not. Yeah, you, so you see them all falling. Um, I, I need, oh, go ahead. How long I was gonna are we say falling? I try and fly and catch Zara. I'm good, you get those two. Uh, I don't know if I can catch power. Everybody power. falls 30 feet. Oh, not too bad. Oh, I'll still try and catch. We're a superhero landing, just. I'll try and catch. Uh, so, and my and and like a... fifty feet. So it's three d six. Fifty feet, or thirty. Thirty. Oh yeah, three d six. Can I catch Roche since he's little? Yeah, you can catch one person. Uh, everybody else takes ten damage, uh, bludgeoning damage. I'll just fly and scoop you <laughs> in my arms and, and on my broom. And then I need for the remainings who did not uh, get caught to do a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Um, is it a spell? Nope. Or no. So yeah, I'll just get the plus five. Dex save? Dex save. Oh, that's super bad. 17, you saw I'm next spell so I get plus five. Right? No, that's a six. I got an 11. Uh, 11. 17 plus 5, 22. 27. Uh, 27, you save. Uh, you manage to grab a hold of the edge of the pit before you fall in. Um, you miss the edge, and you fall straight through, and you land on something very soft and slithering and large. Um. Hey, at least I soft landing. Soft landing. You I don't take, take any bludgeoning damage. Take more damage. So he's um, down like a pit, though. Yeah, he's like down in the pit. So everybody, move the your characters the off to the sides. By the way, I don't know if you guys can see this. You should look down I'm gonna deep have in that you. hole. Yeah, it's crawling around. around. You can me. see it crawling around down in there. Every once in a while, you see it I have you. slip through. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, this just happened, right? Yeah, this just happened. All right, so you can sit back. I'm pretty sure that's ten minutes on the shield of fame. So okay. as you so we hit, both have the uh, we're going to keep the initiative that we had before. Look at that. That's so awesome. That oh, looks pretty creepy. It's a little spooky. Mm. So you landed on that. As it flips you out of the hole, you uh, now take bludgeoning damage as you hit the side wall and slide down. Uh, you're going to be next to the uh, stairs, basically, over there. And uh, actually, let me go it ahead. It flicked me out of its pit? It flicked you out of the pit. So That's you're going to take some... Rude. <laughs> Strong damage. Oh shit. Oh, uh, okay. No, never mind. It's not that rude. We're gonna be down there anyway. Let me get a grid on here for you guys. And go ahead and place your minis 
Wherever they so desire right. to die, you go well, and place I, I got flicked, so I assume I flew back you into said, a wall. Yep, yeah, right there. By the stairs. Is what oh, by the stairs. That's what okay. Uh, did I take damage, you said? Yes, you do. How much? With the velocity of the strike, that is 29 points of Ow. bludgeoning damage. As you are hurled I'm, back I into this thing. I actually have to roll concentration on that. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> Imagine it's loud, because you're armed, man. 29. Ouch. I almost am half dead. Holy oh, cow. From a fling? Well, All from, right. I, from the other shit, too. <laughs> we, <laughs> never, yeah, we never <laughs> took a breath. We just kept uh, going. We just, we just, go, we just fell down a pit. <laughs> yes. um, because it is aware of what's going on. Uh, by the way, the snake uh, has three heads, and it is completely covered in everything that's been poured down from the top down. So you see the blood and the viscera and so on and so forth. Um, by the way, you're also covered in that now that you had uh, gone up and gave it a hug. Um, it's going to take a surprise round on all of you guys. So the first thing it's going to do is do some Wait, bites. because I dropped into a pit. I'm surprised. And then it crits me. Uh, well, let's see who gets the crit. Everybody roll d20. See who gets that first Come attack. On, lucky D20. Highest wow. roll wins. Oh. I rolled an 8. I rolled a 17. Oh, you rolled a 19? Yeah! Okay, so here comes the crit. That's two for more die. <laughs> He's going to take some damage, though, from hitting me. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah. You know, my shtick. I got something, too. This is 32 points of piercing damage. And necrotic damage, you're going to take... Oh, 17 necrotic. Necrotic, not poison? Not poison. It takes 49 points of radiant damage. 14. Uh, and I'm going to use my reaction to use Storm's Fury, my new ability. Okay. So uh, he takes 14 lightning damage. And then he needs to make a strength saving throw or be pushed 20 feet away from the enemy straight line. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. All right. So what's the oh. uh, strength saving throw again? DC 18, or I launch him 20 feet. He just takes the 14. There's no save. There's no half he, damage. He does get a save for mine. I forgot about that. He uh, yes, he saves. So he isn't pushed, but he takes six points of fire and 14 of lightning. You're, you're pushing that. Yeah. You know, it's a solid 14 damage every time. So, so you're no, I'm doing, saying I don't think okay. you can push a huge creature. Yeah. It typically tops out at large. Yeah, it's a huge creature. But the damage would still take take place, so you're still with that. Um, thank you. All right. So on the 49 damage, he gets to make a, d a wisdom saving throw for half. Who does? Him. He, he took, yeah, the snake. He took 49 from... Oh, yes. Um, 18. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, he, that was 18. So, yeah, he got it. Oh, all right. So, he, he, doesn't, he takes 24 instead. 24 damage? 24 radiant. Oh, ho, ho. Um, he takes zero radiant. Oh, Holy cow. That's not good. It's almost like he built him for you. Bro, bro. <laughs> Zero rate as it just kind of just falls off him, and, and you can see the outline of his entire body. Um, so that was one bite. Uh, the second bite is 25 to hit. Um, we're gonna go with uh, zero to yep. hit. Uh, I will cast shield, and that will not hit. Okay, uh, as you see these fangs coming straight at you, and you shield yourself just in time as you see the fangs themselves kind of scratching themselves on the back side of your uh, shield there. Um, next person in line is actually going to be you since you are um, up there with him. Um, that's 28 to hit. Definitely. I hold you in front of me. <laughs> yeah, like just a snake head coming out of the pit. Mm -hmm. Gross. 24 damage of piercing and... Yeah. 19, uh, that is, um, necrotic. 
And that's the end of the surprise round. So oh, we're back up at the yeah. top. Top around. Did you get your reaction back if you used it in a surprise round? No, I don't think so. You gotta get yeah, it when you get it back on your turn. turn. I am definitely Front bloodied. Alright. You're up. What you gonna do? I'm gonna use all your big stuff. That's right. Go big or go home time. Go big or go home indeed. Um, <laughs> how close is it to me? I don't know what it's uh, like. Right right in front of of it. It's right here. You can... It's you can give it. You can reach out and give it a hug. It's got like what, thirty foot reach or something? Oh yeah, thirty foot reach. It's so I'm imagining just like three giant heads constantly weaving around. Like mm -hmm. if you bide your time, you can definitely hit. Okay. It. Um, I'm going to just reach into my bag and just chuck out some like junk. So just like like little knickknacks. Okay. Just, just throw in your. your I your sure am. Worldly belongings. And I am going to cast Animate Objects. Oh, nice. <laughs> Do you want some D4s to represent your... I would love D4s to represent. What do you have? I'm, good. I'm choosing a tiny... I'm trying to... I don't know how many I have. I have never cast Animate Objects. I think it's ten tiny objects. Is it? Is it a bunch of tiny like, um, cobalt a, a dragon statues? Is it a dragon? They're like coins and, like mini. Yeah. and like screws and just random stuff. So like it'd be funny if they're like little army men soldiers. Yeah. And you're just like throughout, and it's like a bunch of little toy soldiers going out to attack this thing. I wanted to do it with coins. I'm sure it. Nobody one. else wants a cupcake. I'll eat another cupcake. Yeah, I'll take catch one too. You just ask for the dragon mini. That's good. I like that. Oh, it's bad. Or it's bad. sent me a private message. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ten, hey. ten is correct. When I say, I, I love that sword. I, I hate DMing against it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh huh. We love you. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Then I'm gonna have to use my bonus action to have them attack. Looks like they all rolled the hit individually, right? They do, unfortunately. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got three. Uh, I'll use all ten of these bad boys. Mixed bag? Oh, okay. I, do you remember what that was? No. I apologize. I completely fumbled that roll. What's their plus? Eight. <laughs> what have right. we beaten, Tom? Uh, the AC on this thing is going to be 19. I'll go ahead and tell you because it's a huge creature. So that's a hit. That is, uh, minimum is... T minimum is 18. Oh, yeah. One of them missed then. 18 misses. Yeah. And the one miss. Anything above 18. Yeah, and so everything that's else. Eight hits. Eight hits. Um, nice. Eight one hits. 1d4 plus 4 damage for each of them. That's 4. Oh, thank you. Alright, so you're rolling twice. Or no, you, you're just saying 8, right? Now. So 8d4 plus 32. Plus 32. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you just start throwing this random junk out into the room, and you're like, "What's it doing?" And suddenly you're just casting animated objects, and they start flying around. As you see this snake looking around, trying to get a good view of what's actually happening. Um, that is 57 uh, bludgeoning damage, magical <laughs> bludgeoning damage. 57? Yes. Nice. And I am going to. Give you back your awesome D force. All right. Greatly Any other uh, actions, movement, or anything else? Uh, no, I'm going to stick with my awesome pr uh, friend who has a uh, broom of flying. And <laughs> Excellent. Um, 
Everybody needs to do a dexterity saving throw. Uh, you all get plus five. Not a spell attack, right? Uh, nope. This is a breath weapon. As it launches Ooh. out a breath weapon and spews it throughout the entire Seven. area. Natural 20. Oh, good. 24. 19 is the, uh, the DC. I think we uh, all beat that. Nice 20 something. Okay, everybody got above? Yeah. 18 plus 12, 30. On a failed save, you take half. Very dangerous wizard. Total is 65 damage. So half of 65, call that 32. 32. With necrotic? Um, yes, this is all necrotic. 32 points of necrotic I damage. I have 15 health left. Oh, and that, uh, that includes the uh, flying objects. Oh yeah, they all. Oh, they, then, all uh, take. they are all destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> solved that. That was problem. quick. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he definitely solved that problem real fast. Um, all righty, so that was its legendary action. So uh, zero Oof. drop. Okay, I'm going to cast illusory dragon. Nice. I have a dragon up here over here, a shadow dragon. So you're trying to have a kaiju fight? Sure. Why not? Yeah, that's Pretty the best fun. kind of fight. Okay, so uh, any enemies that it can see um, need to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Of uh, 21. So 18. He is frightened Ooh. of the dragon. Oh. No way. <laughs> so cool. uh, it's going to choose to succeed that. Okay. Now, <laughs> now he needs to make an intelligence saving throw. Okay. Of also 21. Also 18. Okay. Failed that one too. Alrighty. Uh, he may choose to succeed. Yeah, he's gonna just choose to succeed that one as well. Okay. Two legendary resistances <laughs> down. Gone. Ouch. Yeah. Turn. Ooh, my dice. Uh, well, really mid that. Uh, okay. You know what? I really wish that uh, D&D Beyond tracked legendaries and uh, uh, layer actions. That'd yeah. be pretty like, cool. Track it through the system. That would I mean, be so technically, yeah. all you needed to do for layer actions is just uh, put into the initiative order uh, the layer action mm -hmm. because layer actions are always on uh, initiative 20. count twenty. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I definitely wish they they counted legendary. So twenty six, but because he chose to succeed, it's twenty three. Um, Damage and okay. what kind? I need to pick which kind. Hold on. Not radiant. <laughs> yeah, you have seen Pavel very upset. Um, let's do. Let's try lightning. Lightning. Um, lightning does hit. Okay. Lightning strikes, and it's not very happy with that. Twenty-three okay. damage. Twenty-three damage. Excellent. Mordai clocks. Acknowledged. Noted. Noted. Exactly. Noted. Uh, <laughs> and then I will right. stay by my buddy, Pavel. Alrighty. Morda, you're up. Hey, buddy. You're looking pretty hurt. Do you yeah. want to be also a kaiju? <laughs> Do you want to join this kaiju fight? It's a very, uh... uh I can make you big. <laughs> I want to live! Hell big. I want to live! Big. <laughs> Will I be better, bigger, or, 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 or him? You'll be better, bigger. Then yeah. make me big. I'll cast polymorph from from the T-Rex. Is up. Oh! That's cool! Do I have... Uh, do, what do I get for that? Uh, you... For sure, it's 136 HP. That's pretty cool. Yeah, your... Your AC is like 13, though. But, hey, it's 100... And, 20 or 30 extra H HP. Yeah, and you have some cool easiest, attacks too. Just... You have some pretty sweet attacks too. Plus 10 to hit, reach 10 feet, 40, 12, plus 7. I feel like y'all have done this before. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've had a couple T Rex fights. I was gonna make one. <laughs> uh, a T Rex. It happens. Uh, 136 cells, yeah, armor class 13. Two. So that is my fourth level spell slot. Okay. And you know what? 
Fuck it. I'm gonna do twin spell, and we're both gonna be T-Rexes. Oh my god. Everyone's have, a kaiju. I don't have two T-Rexes. <laughs> I have one T-Rex. You can about. use the, It's um, fine. I'll actually do my Radiant Bolt instead. Oh, okay. That's much better. Much more. I was gonna suggest the, uh, uh, Kraken Head, but... Oh, that's true. Kraken Head would've worked. Oh my god. Oh, that stuff on the plate. Oh, are you still on the broom as a T-Rex? I drop. I yeah, should yeah. not anymore. <laughs> I throw you I as I transform you. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming we don't want to break the, the broom. I'm trying to break the broom. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to break the broom. If I lose all of the hit points, do I lose consciousness or just lose nope. the polymorph? You just lose the polymorph. Okay. Yeah, just and whatever bleeds nice. over, though, you take. Perfect. So if you have two left, you uh, take seven, you take 20 five on your phone. Oh, yeah. My radiant bolt, 20. Oh, 20 to hit? Yeah. Yes, oh, 20 hits. It doesn't Absolutely. matter, right? It's radiant damage, isn't it immune? Oh, it is immune to radiant damage. So it doesn't matter. <sighs> Sorry. First and day. just bursts over it again and gives it a little, a little shine to its... Uh... Does it look like it's healing it? Uh, no, it's not oh, healing okay. But it's not doing any damage. Okay. Well, and I float backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, everything I have is radiant. That's why I would have made it very good oh, I actually... But... But we need your all right. plus five. That's all you got? We need all that stuff yeah. from you. Alrighty. First things up. It is going to swing. Um, let's do some uh, D20 rolls. Let's see who's going to get this. It's not going to try and attack the giant T-Rex now in front of its face. It's very or strong. Or dragon. Two? You said I dex roll? Do I use the T-Rexes or mine? For <laughs> dex for you. Oh, are we doing uh, a dex roll or a d20? Well, this is just a d20. I just want to see who's going to get it. Oh, for me. Ooh. 10. 17. Ooh, 14. Oh, this one's coming for you, T-Rex time. Yeah. That's, that's it, it, it best is case scenario. What about the dragon? Does it, uh, can it attack? Oh, yeah, it's going to do that with one of its bites. Uh, 31 to hit the T-Rex. Yeah, it's a 13. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely hit me. All right, this it, is... It's a two and a half times. <laughs> Um, that's 19 damage, which is piercing, and then the um, necrotic damage is oh, eight. Um, that was his first bite. Second bite's going for the dragon behind it. Yep, it misses. Uh, you said how much for the damage? It misses. It misses anyways. And it takes no damage. Dragon. Oh man! And he needs to make a intelligence uh, or an investigation check to see if he can realize that it's. Because uh, he can feel it biting, but he doesn't. He needs to make an investigation to see if it realizes it's not taking damage. Uh, Twenty-two. Yeah. He realizes. Yeah. All right. It's an it's illusion a dragon. But that was a great way to get rid of one of those bites, though. That's that awesome. Was, and it was a crit. Yeah. yeah. He got rid of a crit. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, but now it looks back at you. <laughs> That's fine. It's like... I see how you're doing. Um, a little tip of the cap. Yes. <laughs> Twenty-five to hit. Oof. From what? Yes. Uh, shield. Ooh. Comes right back at you trying to bite again. Doesn't get through. So that was the three bites from each of the three heads. And I'm going to roll to see if it gets hit. Breath weapon. No, back. no, no, no. Why am I not letting you guys roll? Because you guys all cheat. <laughs> we don't cheat. <laughs> We're, right now. We're just we really We've good. never cheated. I got a five. That is, it I, is I call back, on that. baby. What? I totally <laughs> rolled. Behind the screen where nobody can see. That's right. <laughs> Actually, I rolled a natural 20 of it with a six. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you should get it back anyways because you had a natural 20 negated. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so anyways. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so it does get its, its breath weapon back. It's going to, um, just so I don't forget about it, it's just going to do it right now and get it over with. Um... Actually, ooh. breath or ooh. yeah, it's gonna do the breath. That's what it's gonna do. Breath is definitely the better option. Uh, dexterity saving throws for everybody. DC nineteen is what you're aiming for. Total damage is 62. Tom, you're not going to believe it. Yes. But I got another nat 20. Awesome. All right, so then Dex. he only takes halves. 
65. 22. With Pavel's bonus. Uh, so yeah, you save. DC 19. 22. All right. I'm save, alive. Save, save. Well, good. No, I did not save. Okay. So total 62 for you. Everybody else gets 31. Um, I still take half on necrotic. Oh, good. So that's even half of that. You said um, 31? What's that? 31, 31 and a half, yeah. 31 for the half. Are you up? Oh, you're a T-Rex. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, but... The bloody T-Rex. Yeah, and once I'm out of the T-Rex, it's not going to look good. <laughs> um, the three heads of this snake are looking a little rough, at which point you do see something... Everybody do a perception check. Damn it, you're getting my good rolls on the perceptions, and then I'm rolling shit on the deck save. Oh! 12, 22. 22, you see it. 18. Uh, you do not see it. 12. Do not see it. Uh, your wizard friend is back. He's behind everything. He's over there next to the illusionary dragon. He's healing the dragon. My turn, finally. It is now your turn. Well, actually, yes, yes, you are. He also needs to make a wisdom save now. Oh, the the dragon? Or uh, the, uh, the wizard? Oh, yeah. To find out if the dragon is real? No, to be frightened by the dragon or not. Oh, immunities. He's uh, immune to being frightened. Perfect. The dragon, the, the snake is also immune to being frightened. I didn't see that before. Never mind. It's okay. He, he, he rolled really high creature. last time anyway, so yeah. it didn't really matter either way. I don't gotcha. think he can move away from... <laughs> yeah, I think he's kind of there. Yeah, he's, he's he, he, he looks stuck when he's on the map. <laughs> yep. All right, Vil, you're up. I'm assuming they're probably going to move back to the end of that. Hmm. What do you choose to do? I cast hold person on the wizard. Oh, nice. So DC wisdom 18. 17. Ha! He misses. He is paralyzed and held there in place. Oh, man. You see this look of hate. Drops the shield on you, but I'm oh, sure. I wasn't even counting it on all the other stuff anyway. So oh yeah, I thought it'd been ten minutes already. No, we drop right into this bit. That's true. Mm -hmm. But you're concentrating still, right? So you still need that. I do, yeah. Okay. So now I'm concentrating on the whole person. Oh, I am concentrating. And uh, bonus action, I'm gonna cast sanctuary on Mordai. Done. I'm Wait, it's about to be my turn. Don't, don't get me with that. I'm, I'm pretty hurt. All right. Yeah, but everyone, they're gonna, he's gonna go first before your turn. The no, big creature. I'm, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're all set. And, and you, of all of us, have other stuff beyond just damage too. Uh, yeah, I just need to roll the healing that I, I get because I'm below my. Threshold. Oh yeah, you're just Wolverine over there. I am. I, I just, just Wolverine that shit. Time to heal yourself up a little bit. You just flex your ass. Yeah. You protect, <laughs> it's a protective it. spirit. It's God. Okay. It's not <laughs> just me. One d six plus eight. All right. Are Those you gonna do any other uh, anything well, besides that? Slightly louder. What's up? Are That's you it. No, right. that was bonus. Yeah, the sanctuary action with the whole person. I don't need to move. Back top my, I got all my chickadees around me, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're good. Awesome. I get to make two attacks finally. Alright, as a... Because I'm a T-Rex. I'm a T-Rex. The unfortunate thing about the T-Rex is you can't attack the same target twice. I can't? No. Because it's a bite attack and a tail attack, so like specific... You can bite and spin. <laughs> Well, it is it a specifically good says in, oh, the, in, the, in the description <laughs> that you can't attack the same target. Well, the attack, uh, it sure uh, does. Mage with uh, one. You have to jump into the pit. I would. 
Um, oh. Well, it's a good thing I miserably failed the second attack because okay. uh, yeah, I got a um, I got a, a, a twenty nine and a twelve. Oh yeah. Uh, so I uh, yeah. Twenty nine hits is the only attack that actually does anything. So yes. Assuming bite, right? Uh yes, it is. Oh bite. yeah. Bite one of these snake heads off. Hopefully it's not a hydra. I uh, I sure hope it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never asked if I uh, can tell if this is actually any kind of divinity divine being. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming brushing off radiant damage is a pretty big indicator of divinity. Something. Something. Gosh dang. 29 piercing damage. Nice. Doesn't it grapple too? Automatic that makes the strength. Uh, yes. Well, it's not a medium or smaller creature, so. Uh, I, I, I assume it doesn't. Yeah. Correct. Yes. So. Nice, nice. That's like you couldn't grapple one head, <laughs> keep it from, <laughs> keep it from one the, attack. The tongue, he can who grapple is, the tongue. Uh, who is grappling who at that point, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, if you're swinging around a T Rex, you're not swinging around too much. I'm assuming you can hold down one head. T Rexes are pretty dangerous, but I don't know about a Hydra. <laughs> oh, the dogs with the little chew toy you swing them around, <laughs> biting on. That's what I'm imagining. Any other choices you're going to choose to do or no? That's it? That's all I got. Zerith, you're up. Does it do blur actions? Oh yeah, I already did. Oh, okay. I did it early, so oh, I could. Oh, you uh, did it early. That's right. Okay. Uh, bonus action. Um, we're gonna breath weapon. Ooh. With the dragon. So the wizard takes it too. Yeah. Oh. It's a great place for the wizard to go. I was really excited ah. about that placement. Oh, the uh, wizard's ooh. automatic fail. It's paralyzed. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So an intelligence throw from the um, thing snake. The snakey the snake. Intelligence. Oops, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Pretty sure paralyzes is automatic fail on this. On deck saves. Uh, yeah. 18. Oh, it has, it has oh, advantage. Sorry. Oh, it does have advantage? Yeah, it has right. advantage. Yeah. 18 and 18 was the higher roll. Okay. 18 and 15. It says any hit that attacks the creature is a critical hit if the attacker is within 5 feet of the creature. That would definitely constitute five feet. <laughs> it's a crit on the wizard. Excellent. Oof. Yeah, he does have a dragon, like, breathe down his throat, <laughs> literally. But it's lightning, right? Yeah, so it's 27 points of lightning damage. So 54 to the wizard. 54? Oh. And then 27 to the creature. 27 to the so I didn't say sure snake. Again. Does the wizard seem to take half damage? Looks like he just... I mean, he's very not happy about being just obliterated with that. Uh, he's hanging on to life. Like, he's... Okay. <laughs> Does the whole person still hold yeah. with uh, all that damage? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Then. And then for my... hasn't been his turn yet, right? Yeah, no. He's not, it's not up for a while. He's, he's the right for you. And then for my action, I will... Uh, old habits die hard. I will cast <laughs> disintegrate. Oh. On... Oh wait, you said the you said the wizard was looking bad, right? Yeah, the wizard's yeah, looking pretty I rough. Take care of the wizard. Um, okay, I'll disintegrate the. Um... The wizard? No, oh my the, goodness. the the, the big snake? thing. Yeah. One of the heads. Yeah. So it's a dex of twenty one. That sounds like a success. That was a success. Natural 20. Okay. Silvery barbs. Let me... Actually, I don't have that for the uh, I can't. I had it last Good try. I had it last fight. No, you can't cast I don't cast think I can cast spells while I'm polymorphed, can I? No. Uh, no. That's going to be 86. Oh. Halved. <laughs> halved. So 43. 43 for the Ooh. snake, yes? Yes. Wow, that was great. It's looking pretty rough. So much. Oh, man. This is going to be a... a this is going to be a close one, actually. Holy cow. This is going to be really close. All right. Uh, Me? Zero, uh, yeah, more dice up. I'm going to raise my staff, and I'm going to, seeing the lightning you just blasted, I'm going to kind of call that to me, and I'm going to cast Chain Lightning. Oh. And I'm going to use my channel divinity, Destructive Wrath, to deal max damage. Okay. And because, so he'll take... 
87. So it's a deck save, which the wizard automatically fails because he's paralyzed. So he takes 87. Takes 87 points of lightning damage. Hopefully his face just and, explodes. Uh, <laughs> the snake, if he succeeds the deck save, DC 19, he'll take 47. He takes an extra 7 because Heart of the Storm. Yep, uh, saves. He saves. Okay, so you'll take uh, The wizard in damage. the back, however, <laughs> is no more. Wizard in the back. He's also illusory. illusory. <laughs> Does your uh, chain lightning hit my dragon? It doesn't do damage. I know, I was saying it's fine. I was just asking. It dealt lightning damage, so it blasted it this way, and I just sent it right back to the other side. Kind of ping pong Zigzag, it. ping pong it. All right, so uh, what was the damage to the dragon? Or dragon. This, uh, 47 snake? to 47. the big serpent. And can I make some kind of check on it? Be like, what are you kind of a vibe? Like, is it... It's a big old effing snake. Three heads. <laughs> then I'll... Uh... As a... An aura about it that does not seem very nice. I'll cast Armor of Agathus on myself. Um, Excellent. Give myself some... Alright. Any other choices? Nope, that's it. Alright, well you're up first for the bite, because... That, that was nice. That was not nice. Uh, 26 to hit. Uh, I will cast Shield and not will miss. One again. 36. That will hit. Do some damage. Piercing damage. As it's really pissed off at you for that one. Oh, nice. uh, 26 damage, which is uh, piercing. And then the uh, necrotic damage is 18. 26. And then you have armor of Agathus on you. Yeah? I have one hit point left. Oh my and god. And he takes 13 points of fire damage. Wait, how much damage did it do? From flame shield. What was the total damage? Uh, 26 damage, which is piercing, 18 damage, which is the necrotic. Alright, I'm gonna do my last channel divinity in my reaction to. He takes that. Oh shit, no, never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Uh. <laughs> So, 13 fire and 20 hold. 13 and 20? Yeah. You have one health. I have one singular hit point. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, he still has one more attack. Oh my gosh. Actually, Actually yeah. technically he's got two. Um, but he's not going to do... He already hit you twice. Uh, the other one who did this a lot of damage... T-Rex also bit him. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> The wizard and the T-Rex really hurt him. So I just got thrown out of the pit by yeah. it. So I haven't done shit to this thing other than that. Uh, let's have the two of you guys roll for D20s and see who's highest roll, which one of you guys is going to get the last time. <laughs> Three. Three. Coughing up Three. Blood. Seven. All right. Seven wow. gets it. Last I attack. Have a gaping stomach wound. <laughs> 31 to hit. Oh, did you hit. Uh, con uh, concentration check? Oh. That 20 was how much damage? piercing. Oh, wow. 30, I get plus. 32 plus 18. 11 plus necrotic. So 20 Seven and 11. Is. Okay. It was, it's DC 25. And last but not least. Should be fine still. <laughs> oh no. The T Rex is no more. The T Rex is now a person. I lost concentration. Which, uh, back to your original. Um, Unfortunately, yes. I got a 23 right. on my concentration check. Damn. Uh, breath weapon. 21 plus 17. D6. Just so you know, I'm not turning. Oh. Six. <laughs> Brutal. Nice. Oof. This is where I die, guys. It's been real. It's Me been great. Me too. <laughs> it's been All real great. Alrighty, guys. Here it comes. I'll even Hold on to your out. butts. Uh, this is a DC 19 dexterity saving throw. I'm down. Uh, natural 19 dexterity saving throw is a 21. However, I, I only have 15 hit points, so I probably am down as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I These, failed. You failed? I, I rolled a 19 on the die, so. Oh, you win. Plus, so, uh, half damage. Yeah. Here it goes. Total damage is. You're gonna have to. 52 this. damage. <laughs> Oh yeah. This is, this is necrotic, though, right? This is all necrotic. Oh, thank God. 
So divided by two for me. Divided by two for you. So what? Twenty six. I am still alive. <laughs> How are you looking, Lindsay? Great. I'm fantastic. All right, with that. Never better. Pavel, you're up. It's looking really rough. The the it's having a hard time seeing. Yeah, Got we two, all are. Two fellers down. Oh okay, yeah. I'm no longer flying. I am, or concentrating. <laughs> We're thinking about anything in general. Yeah. I am. I was three oh. hit points away from instantly dying. Oh my gosh. Oh that my was gosh. yeah. I almost crazy. just dropped concentration. And now you're back alive. It was on the one. Because I healing hands you, and you're up. Oh! So 16 hit points right there. You got 16 because I don't know you very well. Because I run over here. (laughs) (laughs) Ward Eye. (laughs) And Ward Eye, you get 80. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Just try not to, like, look look super spry. (laughs) <laughs> That's right. My gaping stomach wound just <laughs> closes. It just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, your fellows are back alive. That was it for me. All My Prada boots touch the ground in here. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Top oh, no, of the round. Room. <laughs> Top of round. Back to you again, buddy. You're with your 18, right? 18 hit points. Uh, I'm 16 hit points. 16 hit points of uh, loveliness. Don't die. What are you going to choose to do? I am definitely uh, close to it. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm almost I'm practically out of healing now. So. Fly, you fools. That's definitely an option. Fly, uh, you fools. <laughs> oh, wait, but I heal. I heal! Oh, yeah, Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. Do you have any healing? Has anybody done necrotic damage to it? I have not tried. I, I no. can't do necrotic damage. I have not tried either. I'd rather die. I would rather I die than do that <laughs> Awesome. Alright. Alright, I'm going... It needs to make me a DC Constitution 18 saving throw. 18? Oh, fail. 11. It takes 12 D8 necrotic damage. Oh, okay. Let's see. Do you need it. some D8s? I will appreciate D8. Just oh, Three. man. So it's gonna Here's it's resistant, four, so it takes five. half. Oh, it's immune to radiant but resistant uh, to necrotic. Six. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm glad it's resistant because I was under the assumption it was uh, immune. To to four necrotic. necrotic yeah. I would have thought that. That's why I stayed away from it. One twenty six necrotic damage. And that is half. That is half. 13. Oh, that is half. Oh, nice. So, and it what is it you're doing? You're doing what spell? Uh, this is a Horrid Wilting. Horrid <laughs> Wilting? Oh, and doesn't it do some extra shit? Uh, constructs or undead aren't affected. Plants and water elementals make the same throw at disadvantage. 12d8 uh, on a failed save, or however much as a non-magical plants aren't affect uh, in the area aren't creatures. Uh, if it's a plant, it gets absolutely annihilated, but otherwise it's fine. <laughs> so this, the three snakes, you see them all withering and withering and withering, and they're just snapping and trying to grab a hold of anything and everything. Um, but they, there's nothing left to them, and you see them slowly start to decay, and as their heads all hit the ground. However, you do notice that as it's body is rescending into itself into the skeleton frame of it you also see that there's a skeleton frame over everything in this entire cavern and as you notice and make this realization you start seeing that the cavern start to shift in shift in like you only have a couple of moments before stuff starts getting tight and stuff starts falling I'm gonna look at Mordai and be like this is why you don't blow everything. I'm gonna cast teleport. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> I don't gotta see you or touch you. It's just it's the teleport. So. Uh, where are you going? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well. Back to mom. We're going back to mom. <laughs> Cause I want some good food. <laughs> Cavell's gonna have to deal with it for a day. Uh, <laughs> so as you're watching the whole cavern 
falling in on itself. You cast out on the board and immediately fall through the ground. As you fall through, you actually fall through the ceiling of Mom's house. No, it's outside now. We moved outside. Oh, we moved it outside? We, moved outside. <laughs> we, did. we did move it outside. We, we made a stop. point to move it outside. We stopped coming into the kitchen. We got to quit. I got who, already got to buy your new house. Yep. Uh, and so you fall mine. through, hitting the ground. Uh, and uh, I think those two are you are now out of combat, you and you have successfully taken care of the the cult. Wait, uh, anything you want to say before we call it a right. night? I'll take it. Um, yeah, I'll look at I I look at the bell and say, "Hey, sorry, I don't have a circle to your place, so you're gonna have to deal with being here for a couple nights or for a night." <laughs> And so uh, now you guys are back. back. Quickly, but one night's okay. <laughs> I also want her to look at <laughs> his know. weird. Does it match the? Oh thing? yeah. Now yeah, no, that's okay. common knowledge. That Probably match, mine. Please. Common knowledge. Back to it again. All right. So you guys survived the uh, Snake Mountain, and yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, Ian, so much for joining us. We really, I enjoy having you ever. <laughs> so, Level 17. No, I'm kidding. No, no. Was it a high trope? What was that guy? It was uh, uh, a mutant snake. It was a mutant snake. <laughs> Big snake with it's three a snake heads. God. I hey, we just killed one guy. Around. Now we're gonna go off to kill another. That's right. That's right. Hey, line them up. Line them up. This Thank you guys for joining yours. us. We'll see you guys all next week. Uh, yeah. Have a great night. This is my terrible dice. <laughs>